So hi guys, this is a shot here with uh, Abhimanyu. Hi. And also Sanket. Uh, so today we will be reviewing One Night in Karazan, the latest adventure for Hearthstone. I hope that was correctly spelled, Karazan or yeah. Karazan. <laughs> I am not a Warcraft player, so I am not going to touch on that. So, uh, we start right off? Yep. So, yeah. So, uh, uh, how would we go about this? First of all, we take uh, one card, uh, like. we check uh, ranked viability, then we check uh, uh, arena viability. Yeah. Both of us. Yeah. Right? Both cards. Uh, Which 35 cards only. So. Is, should we go about that way or should we like do the ranked and one go and arena and another? Sorry? Mm. Uh, I mean like one card, ranked, arena. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Okay, fine. So okay, finish yeah. off that card, then it's fine. Don't go back. Yeah, yeah, it's better that way. Okay. So okay. First off is Druid cards. Very first card is that yeah. Raven, one mana, two, two, beast. <laughs> <laughs> this is really good. Yeah. I mean, of course, it's not a flame man, but it's not Jabi Chow, but it's still quite good. Actually, for it starts, it's really good. I mean, I, it's a beast. So yeah. yeah. Like, on curve, if you play that one, what's the name? The buff, Mark of your charge. Mark of your uh, yeah, that's that's the only case. Like I personally feel that's the only case it would be good. Otherwise, I'd always prefer living roots over this, right? The flexibility to do two damages. That's that's correct. But if you look at, there are a few cards in Druid's deck which uh, you can use this to just trigger for a beast. So there are. Yeah, the only difference this is serves as cheap triggers to that uh, seven seven many. Yeah, four mana seven seven. That's oh, hey. Hey, that's GVG, right? Oh no. Uh, that is GVG, I think. Oh, I guess. Then I guess that does not help. Then <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it doesn't. I have, I have a lot of a lot of confusion. Since we that card is not used that much, so I thought maybe yeah. it was a bit of it. Okay. Anyways, other than that, uh, still uh, for its cost, it's good enough. It takes care of. Yeah, the thing is, uh, this one roots is there till what? Um, roots and even idle both till. The next eight months. After that, you have to include this mm -hmm. one itself. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So rank viability. It, it will definitely be used at least for beast root. I mean, the next card itself is just nuts. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ranked. I guess this is value. I. As of first I think only like personally. I just feel this is only for beast. Decks like yeah, yeah, for normal like decks, you would always prefer living Root, roots over this. Right? Roots is just too good. Okay. So for beast decks, could be really good. I still am skeptical. In beast decks, you would probably run both. Yeah, because you run cheap. Yeah, yeah, you run Savage Roar, you run Power of the Wild. So, so Arena is it good enough? Uh, on curve, yes, definitely. It takes care but of two drop right away. Uh, on curve, it most definitely is good, but it again there also it's still not I mean, as you, good. It's not as good as say abusive sergeant versus yep. like comparing other one drops. Okay. Okay. So, so next but, but in beast road yeah, like, like that minion is also there. Uh, the seven mana six six I think. Oh. Knight of the wild. Mm, What's know. the cost of that? Seven I guess. <laughs> Yeah, seven. <laughs> <laughs> you just said it seven six six. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's good yeah. for that one also, in constructed. Okay. Okay, so next card. Cheap trigger. Ah, uh, this is easily one of the best cards of this expansion. Uh, adventure, whatever. Choose a friendly minion, summon a copy of it. So choose from the board if I'm not wrong. Yep. Okay. So that gives a lot of value out there since there are a lot yeah, of. Yeah, and it's a copy, so it should work like faceless buffs yeah, yeah. should work. Oh, like. oh that is insane. <laughs> uh, do you guys think it's a little bit, a lot insane considering you can summon a, a range of beasts and like basically get that much mana worth of value? 
and you can summon this one also right strangle thorn tiger on curve yeah that is here. like it's a guaranteed value <laughs> you you guaranteed. cannot play around it there is no way you can play and if you copy <laughs> druid of the claw also that's insane so, savage combatant is there so it summons a copy not the exact minion itself so if it's buffed it will not probably summon a buffed minion no it will it will it works like faceless oh it does work like it works like fa- Yeah, yeah. It will summon the copy. Like if it's damaged, it will stay damaged. The copy also. Okay. okay. Uh-huh. So ranked again, it will work for a beast ruin. So beast ruin. Okay. Yeah, beast ruin. And so. Arena. Uh, ah, <laughs> uh, like obviously, if you have a ton of beasts, it's insane. If you so, copy a Malhorn or something, then it's GG for your opponent. So not uh, direct value, but uh, it's, it's it's situationally good. It's like it's not good. something. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like on an auto pick. Yeah. I would say in arena. But yeah, if you sure. have a deck built around beasts, as you said, then it would. Yeah, be. I mean, if you have like two strangle thorn tigers on your deck, yeah. why not pick this? Yeah. Okay. So next one, moon glade portal. So one of the portals from. Adventure. We can check. I can check the six drops actually once. Do uh, you want? Do you so, want to check right away? Uh, I am checking. Let's check standard. Okay, uh, so, so how can we compare this? Heal bot. Heal bot. Yeah. But heal bot was a body. This one's a spell, but it gets a six cost minion on the board. Yeah. A lot of value. Yeah, so you get one 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 mana more than heal bot. Okay. You get two less health, but the body is much better. Like I'm And I'm telling you what what you can get. Uh, dark Araqua five seven, high main six five. Yeah. I'm Faceless I'm Summoner, finished. Kuldara Drake, then Mysterious Challenger, Cabal. <laughs> Herald, then this one Temple and Poser. So Kidnapper is bad. It's a five three. Thing from below is good. Mist Caller is bad. Word Crusher, Fizzle Bang, Sea Reaver is good. Argent Commander is good. There aren't that many bad cards. Most of them yeah, at so least worst, like you get like four five or on an no, at actually, least like worst case. At, at yeah, worst case it's that. But the worst case if you pull a Kordor Kordor Rider or something, it's insane. Worst case, it's a two-three. It's a two-three. Oh, corrupted seal. Yeah. But uh, that's the best. That's the the best of Silvanas. Silvanas. Yeah, sure. yep. <laughs> Silvanas. Silvanas is good. Sunwalker is decent. Cold Rider is decent. Actually, really good cards at six drop. Like rarely there yeah. are any like uh, they are not getting compensated because of their insane value. So most of them have really good yeah. bodies. Imagine pulling a dark Karakoa. That's that just not. Yeah. I mean, it's it's definitely not as good as let's say that one, uh, the mage one. I mean, obviously mage rather one. deal damage than heal, but uh, it's fairly okay because it can heal anything, right? Yep. Yeah, it can heal anything. But I think I'd prefer. But I would probably prefer Feral Rage over this. Really Feral like that card. Eight armor does not give you any board control. No power attack. Okay, so but uh, this one like druid generally doesn't run any heal at all, except mm-hmm. in ramp decks like the occasional Alexstrasza. That's it. Okay, so nothing else. Uh, do you think this would be included in any of the rank uh, rank decks, possibly? Hmm. Token druid. This has no synergy with tokens, and that is the only spell heavy deck. Like, okay, it's the only deck druids play these days. Oh, Arena, I guess yeah. this would be good value. Really good. Yeah, it's fair. It's, it's, it's really it's, good. Since you do don't lose tempo just to heal, which normally happens when you heal for three yeah. mana eight health. Yeah, yeah. You don't lose that kind of yeah. tempo. Yeah. And on an average, the attack is five, health is also five. Do you guys think it and could if you have like been seven mana, possibly? Uh, mm. not really. because seven he's... mana it would be that Aladdin card, which heals you for six. Uh, seven mana five six. What's that? Okay. Uh, 
seven man or five six. The paladin card heal your hero for no, no, you unlock it at level ten. <laughs> <laughs> I even I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Tuska Jostel, no, no, that. No, no, no. Uh, he's talking about no, 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 the basic card. Basic card. Oh, yeah. that guardian, guardian, guardian of kings. Yeah. yeah, guardian of kings. Yeah. So that is five six for seven mana, which restores six health to your hero. Actually, seven drops are worse than six drops. It's a fact. No, no. I was saying like, should it be seven mana? Uh, okay, seven cost. mana for the completely same for effect. Cost. Yeah, same effect. Not. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, because. You are getting free health basically. You are summoning a six mana, six cost minion. Anyways, yep. it's just that it's random, but uh, mm. you are getting six health, which gives you tempo and also keeps you in the game for some extra. It's like uh, a buffed up bars here. Yeah. True. Okay. So uh, it it's definitely great in arena. Yep. Constructed, I do not know. Like they generally rely on ancient of wars and all that. So, yeah, you can like heal Ancient of War for six and then <laughs> yeah. summon a million. That would be value. We, we probably will have to see that how it turns out. If yeah. anyone is able to come up with that deck, it's okay. it's not a bad card in a, not a bad like card. in a vacuum. Oops. Okay, let's move oh. on to Hunter. Uh, so first one, <laughs> probably the best class. <laughs> I mean, uh, amongst these cards. Okay, so first card, kindly grandmother. So, <laughs> she's yeah, a beast. Someone has three, two, big bad wolf. So, don't you guys think there's a lot of value in here? Like, yep, like as of now, mid range hunter is weak. Like weak as in the early game is pretty bad. So that is why they are running these hybrid lists with uh, dire wolf alpha, abuse of sergeant to trade up with those three fours and all. Two fours, three fours. Like most of the minions are uh, vanilla minions. Like. But, Three uh, twos, I mean, huge toad kings are like so. This one fits in very nicely. I I definitely run it. This is a lot of value for two mana. You are getting four yeah, I of cash, see, and it is like, a beast. So if you play this and you play uh, the four mana four three buffer beast card, that's uh, a lot of value <laughs> out of it. Like turn two, this turn three. Let's say you abuse and drop another two drop. I think definitely it, like. I think it would be included in good. a lot of. Uh, uh, Hunter, hunter decks, I guess, because I definitely run it. Definitely so run it. The fact that it is a one-one which summons something else means that to get better use out of it, you have to buff your one-one, like to have some use, right? Uh, yep. Otherwise, one value is Houndmaster, which is assured. So in mid-range hunter, you don't usually run stuff which buffs things, right? I mean. How master uh, is an exception days, which you can These do. days hunters are forced to run them actually, sadly. But abusive and... <laughs> yeah, like uh, people are running these uh, hybrid lists. The late game is the same, like turn 3 onwards it's the same. Early game, thing is, uh, let's say you drop a fiery bat, they drop a 2-3. Then you can't do anything. Then you have to like do something to get value out of that. And and you don't have any options outside, out, outside of fiery bat and this one. You stored kings are like... Or let's say you have to deal with an uh, this one with a frothing berserker. Like dragon that. warrior is very popular yeah, yeah. right now. Four four so health is very popular right now. Overall, it's so giving it's the same stat values as spiders. Yep. So Spider is haunted creeper. Sorry, haunted creeper, no. <laughs> not side. It was three four, right? Yeah, but Hunter Creeper did not summon beasts. This one summons, summons beasts. Beast. Right? I mean, I recall a lot. Yeah, I recall a lot of times people used to just kill yeah. the Hunter Creeper and ignore the one ones because they were not beasts, so they were not afraid of kill command. But this one, of course, you have to clear it off. So definitely a great card for constructed. Uh, what a did great. Think of arena? And for arena. Arena. It's hard to get. Uh, like uh, as a two drop, would you play it? Like for example, uh, I mean, we think of hundred creeper as an insane yeah. two drop in it. This should be, but like hundred creeper at least splits up the stats into two things. Yes. Making yes. it yeah. like a bit more flexible compared to this. This one it pops out a three two, and you have to use. So the that's a that three fold. This is a four three. That is three bodies. This is two. So it it would uh, it would be it would depend probably on the other choices you are offered whether you want to choose yep. this or not. 
I like if you have buff cards or something definitely yeah. Yeah. okay so the next card cloaked huntress <laughs> this card is like I, w- i woke up in the morning i am i'm reading and uh, i was in the bed and i'm reading this card and i <laughs> read it again I, i was like are they really serious did they really make uh, <laughs> uh already better use of uh, secrets than uh, already they are already how they are implemented and they did I, i would say i would say hunter needed this hunter genuinely needed this the early game is shit right now but, but this yeah. is so, i i mean the only <laughs> thing they, they that see, it does not seriously cannot co- cope up with zoo it's not a beast right <laughs> <laughs> i did mean the beast that would have been insane yeah at least it's not a beast at least it's not that would have been broken it's a yeah. It's a battle this one. Where's Kirin Tormage? It's it's definitely better than Kirin Tormage. Way ahead than. Yeah, of course you can play as all the ones you have in hand and the ones you so draw. So if you up. have like five secrets in your hand, you just play them right away. It's as good as. Uh, yeah. The serious. It's third five. <laughs> third five play lock and load. Play five secrets. Like each oh secret changes God. into a new one. That combo would be crazy. And you draw so secrets is, from lock and load, which you can again play them for. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That is yeah, the dream. I think still that, like is it? It is still not that far away from Kerim Tower Mage, right? Yeah. I think that would not be not that. Uh, the, I that think the stats are definitely better here. Yep. Yeah. Mm, most yeah. spells you can play. You played a mage secret. Here you are playing a hunter secret. Uh, you are playing a lot of hunter that, secrets here. Yeah, probably a lot of under secrets. <laughs> so like the Not the condition is for both of them is the same that you need to have them in your hand the secret hand yeah. and that one allows you to play only one where this one allows you to play all of them and both of them are class yeah. cards if I'm not wrong. But in uh, this one, uh, what's the name? Like in mid range hunter you probably run what at best one bear one freezing. If if the meta yeah. goes into three three twos again, then maybe explosive one explosive like at best two traps. Okay, so yeah, in me you actually don't run any secrets, so it's probably adding to the value, right? Yeah, the current decks. So ranked definitely insane, like as we said. Before. Like <laughs> uh, people run one of this one carrion grub in many decks. They probably definitely can replace that. Yeah. I mean a two five versus three four. That is insane because I found a master. Nothing else. For for some reason I are... feel this card will spin off its own deck archetype. <laughs> I mean uh, there were decks before which were uh, secret dependent. I think this card would make them more viable right now. I I think. that would be the case i mean we'll have to see wait and see if anyone comes up with something like that i i i i have seen people hit legend with secret hunter just like one and a half months ago that is what uh, because this is august this basically mm-hmm. gives you op- op- to play your secrets and do whatever else you want to do also that's a lot of value i guess yeah okay so we'll just turn out to see and uh, and these days you generally want to play freezing trap versus what Turn four seven sevens, then those uh, dragon warrior cards. Yeah. What else? Hand versus OTK warrior mostly. Dru- mm-hmm. It's good versus druid. So mo- like most of the time you play it late. You don't play it early. Most of the time. So uh, like turn three or four is when you play it anyway. So if you have both of these in your hand, it's insane. Yeah. Uh, Arena, I guess is Okay, since Arena is also fine. I mean, we we think of Spider Tank as a really good card. Yeah, it is a really. This good is card. just so uh, stats wise, it's great. But it, it, we need to have uh, secrets in hand to make use of it. But still, I would pick it up if it. Still, it's good. I mean, just yeah, the vanilla so. stats are fair enough. Okay. The next, the next one I actually yes. think uh, this one is better. Bear trap is better. I love the art for this one. It, yeah. <laughs> I think it's one of those wow pets. Like and buy those for a charity. Yeah. <laughs> so uh it's like it says after you after your opponent casts a spell summon a photo yep. panther whistle. So that's basically the uh even a photo panther whistle. I don't I see I forgot the name. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> why is it better than 
like it is different than the yeah but like, that would at least drops a grow kind of like let's say your opponent drops yeah, a turn it drop and goes yeah. face or something at least that like yeah, stops, stops aggro and this one is good for if you are the aggro deck yes like and generally most probably most your opponent will cast a spell right it's you yeah, can avoid it in face but you cannot like avoid even weapon yeah even space. weapon classes like rogue or this one paladin okay not paladin the rogue will also probably backstab it or something early game Uh, with the amount of secrets increasing do you guys think secrets are becoming more viable day by day uh not really because other classes do not get any mm, okay yeah the yeah i get your point like if you increase the number of secrets it gets more difficult to play around them like yes so they should they should add secrets once a year from now yeah, so right. let's say tgt secrets roll out Then something new comes new. yep that would be a better way to that that works fair <laughs> enough like no then we'll play in wild <laughs> it would take like, take one and a half minutes to analyze the secrets <laughs> no sir <laughs> okay so arena already like eight or something would you pick it I, yes i like uh, obviously if uh, it's a rare uh hunter rares what are there hunter rares there are better rares for hunter I mean, there boys, there yep. infested wolf. So it will depend. Yeah, in arena, it's like spells are not that frequent, like yes. five. Yeah, or and this is a secret, so it's much more predictable, even in arena. Yep. I would say it's a, it's an average card in arena, not that it's, great. It's, yeah, not the best card. Okay, we'll move on to mage cards. The very first cards uh, that were released, file and sport. Okay. So, actually, mana, this it. one, <laughs> the problem with Fireland's portal, like people are saying, it's OP and all, but the average five drop stats aren't that great. Yep, exactly. I will just open up, open them right away. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you all of them. Dude of the club, four four, Ram Ragler, three three, who run as good? Then Conjurer. Like a three health, seven down he acts around. That's like a four drop. Concert like these are five five, four five six five. Like m- most of probably the best one is Doom Guard. Yes, <laughs> Doom Guard Leroy. Book class champion, probably if you ping after that. Okay. Sarad is good. Abomination can backfire. Big game hunter. Oh my god! So most of the <laughs> cards, most of the cards uh, don't have great you, stats. You, like the uh, the best you can get is pet fighter or an excess champion. Yeah, I mean that's how the five mana cards are. They have a lot of effects rather than bodies. Y- yes, but the druid ones actually get you one gets you better minions, much better minions. Yep. Easily. Okay, so the, I th- summoning stone is a uh, this one, five drop it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it, 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 it triggers like if you play this summoning stone summons, then the damage is dealt. Like the text works in the reverse order. Someone was. Oh. Tell- I think Firebat was telling. Like first the summon occurs, then the damage is dealt. Because that's how like summoning stone works. If you play a five mana spell. Then the minion is played. So if that summons another summoning stone, then two two effects trigger. Mm. Okay. So uh, constructed. I don't think it would save that much of. Uh, Do you guys think people will replace fireball with this? Uh, why replace fireball? But what, what will you replace? <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> You have that insane six drop, five five seven three. Yep, but people don't run so that also. They rely on yeah. like they don't run like right now the tempo mage decks. If you Google not from tempo mage, hmm. they just have that early game. They have this one Thalnos and two 
acolyte of Aparaj. kings they just yeah they just try to draw into burn and just Aparaj. rush down, rush down the up so that's it really really late yeah but but an arena it's nuts it's seriously nuts yeah can compare it with fire elemental it's already yeah. insane schedule <laughs> five damage just think of this it will summon a gold for drop instead of getting a five cash minion yeah <laughs> <laughs> that would make us a bit less salty if it would sort something bad <laughs> okay so medus valley valley if you can Th- this this i deal 3 damage just a nice luck yep <laughs> Un- until you die your dwell work i mean uh, until you take lethal damage but uh, mm. is it worth uh, having it just to deal that 3 damage i mean you that's the only value out of this is that you get a 2 3 on the board so it does, is it that great in constructed reno mage it's the only place right yeah no, yep. no, no uh, my question was like would you include it instead of some other card just to deal yeah, that's what damage I and have a 2 3 to, mana on the board to get value yeah um, Sun- like that is what sanket was trying to say to include this card me- means you have to run ice block that is the only card that gives it a shared value until you die or take lethal damage Correct. and the only um, deck that runs ice block <laughs> is reno mage i mean that and runs uh, normal minions so definitely not adding and freeze mage because in freeze mage obviously torch is a much better option yep okay. like rather, rather yeah. have more burn that or two this kind yeah so constructed only one deck it's viable as of now yeah i mean there might be new decks i mean flame waker is going arcane blasts are going in of of course not now much later okay. next year but yeah. okay so arena something but it's just a 2 3 right it's just a 2 3 it's, it has we, to we, we we try to avoid picking secrets because it's temple loss most of, unless it's mirror or duplicate yes. which we pick sometimes and which gets triggered like almost yeah. instantly so it's like not holding up in long term you yep. like two card combos are hard to pull off it's hard to pull off <laughs> exactly okay So it, it, it's a vanilla minion that's yeah, all yeah it's a vanilla minion it starts are okay that's why uh, the effect is such that you get full amount of stats for its value and the effect yep. is really really situational that's why it is over and above the existing body yep okay raving grimoire and i i don't like this card <laughs> i don't know why The, the thing is, everyone is so hype. Random mage spells, random spells are always good. Drawing outside your deck is always good, but the average spells are bad. They are, but yeah. what if you are a tempo mage? You get more spells to trigger flame waker. Yeah, but how many of them can you use? Well, Forbidden flame is bad. Shatter is bad. I'm just telling you all the spells that are there in standard. Ice barrier, whatever. Like. Most cards you do not want to play in the deck. So, so you think? And, and 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 the thing is, most of them do not gain you any tempo if you are ahead anyway, because they are mostly removals. Okay. What, if, yeah. what if it summons violence board? That's the thing. The number of, I think uh, this one. Uh, Someone came up with the stats, Firebat. I think like the chance of getting a bad card is I think over forty five percent. That like he did some this approximately that like it was it was between forty to fifty. That's that's bad. Then. But I I, I mean feel j- j- just do some rough ma- maths, right? I'm telling you. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure the most of the cards that it could. Well, the body is like really bad. Like, what does one one do? to avoid it's like only contest to and actually if you want to run another one drop you saw the neutral one drop right that gains health yeah 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 two and that yeah. is yeah yeah that, that that's better than this it, like since you run a lot of cheap spells you have mana worm you have that also it deals with aggro better like a one one on one doesn't do much it 
it doesn't i i think it this is just shuffling cards into your hand that's it i mean if you want that rng to pull you off somewhere yeah like the casino mage casino it's good it's kind of so it's, it's good yes so i uh, uh, arena what do you guys think Uh, one man or one ones? Which ones do we pick? Mm, mostly. Uh, better one drops out there. Yeah, Agent Square, Elven Archer. Mm-hmm. Would you rather deal one damage or gain Divine Shield versus a random card? But uh, we, we, we I like the random card. <laughs> yes, in yeah, it's arena. good. It's good. It's good, right? Like if you like in arena, most of the times uh, you want some kind it's of RNG to pull you ahead in the game. <laughs> <and> <laughs> <laughs> Arena is fine. The thing is, it's rare. Odd. That's the odd thing. Exactly. So there are better rares that can be picked instead of this card. Okay. That is the only Drop. problem I have. Yeah, it should not compare directly across classes. But if one one god is nothing, then Raven Idol is like way better than this, right? It is way better because you had at least have an option from three cards to choose. Yeah, it is way better. Yeah, an Dis- option to take. Discover is way stronger. Discover yeah, as much. That's why I read this minion low. Like it's not good to compare with Druid, but still, <laughs> it's okay. really bad. So next, yeah. Paladin cards. First card, Nightmare Templar. Battlecry. Oh, you right. are holding a dragon. Someone two one one one. One of my favorite cards, easily. But why would you sacrifice stats and gain? Just one. Okay, it's one one well. So two of them. So that's. So let's five. compare with that three mana three five uh, technician. Yeah. So the amount of stats here are four five. Four five. But it is split. Yes. It's a close call, right? <laughs> yep. Yeah, but it's a close call. Um, I think you know. Dragon Priest, which which card would uh, Dragon Paladin? Hey, it's Dragon Paladin. Sorry, Dragon Paladin. Thing is, uh, Paladin early game right now is horrible. Like even in Dragon Paladin, they ran that mech many part just to make up for survive. Yeah. 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 Now mm. even many parts gone. <laughs> so I I really like this card. I mean, having multiple one ones is good versus zoo and all. Like aggressive decks, they generally flood the board. It's not bad at all. Okay. Gives you more option to attack, and you can like buff them also if required. Yep. You can uh, you can run this, and then you can run uh, the four mana three four. If I'm not wrong. Ultraman. Ultraman. So that's what oh, yeah. I'm doing, right? Yep. Because it's very hard to clear a two-three and also one-one at so early at an early stage of the game. Because you already have your two-drop most probably, and then you play this, and then you play a four-four old. Yeah, but Pal- Paladin has no playable two-drop. That is the problem. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I have some kind of uh, play at two, uh, so that yeah. scares off the opponents uh, turn to play. Then you play this like if turn if Dragon X so get up. Bit more consistent might consider running juggler to get value of these. Okay, that would be possible. Like, yeah, juggler was insane because of master. So if if I guess dragon paladin does get consistent, that would be insane. So, uh, so dragon paladin. Uh, since yeah, like how would you rate it versus this three five card? Like, if you say that there is lack of three, can we run four three drops or three three drops in a deck? They have a lack of three also now because, like, if you want to make a dragon paladin deck, that is the only option you have. And previously they had two two drops. Uh, uh sorry, yeah. one one two drop and uh, they had muster. They had that, the three five. Now they have just that and Aldor. Like Aldor is of course situational. I I think uh, split splitted up starts are much better because you can do a lot of with the lot lot of things with extra. Mission. You have Ulda Man on the very next turn. Yeah, you have Ulda yeah, Man yeah, yeah. on the very next turn, or even uh, Blessing of Kings might become viable. Or or uh, let's say they drop. Stuff. Let's say they drop their or uh, this one Darkshire Councilman. You have one once you can't lose silver, clear it off. Yeah, that's all. True silver is also. Yeah, yeah. more so flexibility. Baldin has a insane amount of four drops that he can choose from to complement this card. <laughs> 
So, yeah. Really okay, yeah, can even use consecrate and clear off two, three menus yeah, yeah. with the, the tokens. Which cannot happen Equality, in yeah. case of technician. Because technician only can yeah, yeah, yeah. once. So, if I agree. I and the one, one month third drag. Yeah, they are, <laughs> are they dragons? The whelps? Yeah, no, whelps, should whelps it matter? Are. No. Should not matter, right? <laughs> yeah. so like oh, that Zubot. Paladins might <laughs> use this card to counter uh, aggro decks. Like people might yeah. come up with an archetype for paladin deck which can uh, take care of aggro. With this I mean, card. too many cards work with this. Like True Silver Champion, Consecrate, Uldaman. Yes. But like yeah. no one runs buffs, but whatever. That also works. Okay, so arena wise, <coughs> it's bad. <coughs> I see. I think. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Like, uh, like, of course, the best arena decks are the ones that have nutty synergies. Yeah. If you pull it off, best of luck, because you used up all of your luck. Still, it's <laughs> not that insane, right? Even yeah, if you yeah. manage to pull it off. It, in not arena, not. I think generally, like, vanilla stats are better than broken. Yeah, like, I mean, broken stats. That's why like, I that is why this one. Ogre is better than that one. The faceless summoner. It can clear both the minions. Same cost, same everything. Okay, so Silver Moon Portal. Another portal. Hey, one has... second. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, Gora. Uh, yeah. That portal was rare. Druid one. Okay. And yes. Mage one and Paladin one are common. Yes. But <laughs> sounds weird. Uh, no, Shaman one is rare. <laughs> That's Shaman one is rare and the warrior right? one is common. They have to maintain two uh, two common cards and one rare card. Yeah, yeah, they could have as well switched. I mean, like all giants are epic. So all portals are common. Or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, all portals are rare. I mean, unstable was the first. Yeah. <laughs> Why uh, people are forgetting unstable portal? That was the very first portal. And the best one. Yeah. <laughs> East portal. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, so what do you guys think okay. of this card? I yeah. think it's uh, not that great for at turn four. Yeah, it it is the worst of the portal, sadly. Like even if, even with the Nightbend Templar, it's really bad. I yeah, mean, and there are like so many two drops, and so many of them are bad, bad as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it costs four mana. Like Paladin have insane stuff to yeah. do with four mana. <laughs> I would rather this, have this a two night- drop come out from a shredder. This. But this will actually dilute the four drops they get in the arena. No, yeah, <laughs> yeah, this will this will yeah, have a high pick rate. So I'm not pick rate. I mean uh, drop it. Uh, so constructed, I feel it's bad. It's, I don't yeah, think it will replace you know, anything. Both. Arena, it's okay. I would like it will be pretty situation depending upon uh, depending upon the time. Yep. Okay. Worst case drops yeah. here. <laughs> Worst case drops here. <laughs> um, Ivory Knight. It's one of the first cards to be revealed. Discover a spell. Restore health to your hero equal to its cost. Would you have this card in your deck? <laughs> Maybe in Murloc Paladins. <laughs> yeah. Get the- hey, I mean, it, it's not that bad. Right? The, the only problem is there are, <laughs> yeah, there are too many cheap spells in Paladin. That is the problem. Uh, yeah. I mean, you can have it for. Uh, it does not make sense. The cost is too costly for it. I mean, six no, mana to discover a card is. There's a high chance it would uh, it would just heal you for one. There's a very high chance. Yeah. Including all the yeah. secrets, humility, then. And there are expensive bad spells also, holy wrath and all that. I guess uh, it, w- it would not be that great because there are there is better healing options for pilot. You have forbid like in constructed you have forbidden healing. healing like that beats everything. Yeah, it's flexible. It <laughs> can be used the way you want, and uh, yep. it's, it's much better than this. I don't think it will see. Uh, it, I don't think it will replace any rank decks. And arena yeah. definitely not. But just yeah, arena, it is good, right? No, because just because of the discover ca- uh, uh, 
mechanic probably it's conjurer for one more mana yeah. yeah but the problem is that the the spells are not that great and a 6 mana 4 4 on the board that's huge tempo loss yep that's a very big hey you can humility say it's like 7 mana 4 4 and lore still bad order <laughs> yeah <laughs> i didn't get what he said Yeah, yeah, it's still bad. You should go actually for five really minutes. I'll be back in five. Okay. Should uh, we continue? Yeah, yeah continue. I'll just join. Uh, okay. So next up, okay. priest cards. Uh, I read in the morning. These guys are actually. Hello. I guess we cut off. Yeah. Okay. So priest cards. Uh, I heard in the morning that they are putting up a Reddit thread. Yeah, uh, I think we should discuss this with everyone. Like, I really have been play priest. <laughs> can't offer much. Okay. okay. Then uh, then we will skip priest as of now until everyone comes. Yeah, we'll skip. We'll skip rogue also. Probably. I mean, everyone is favorite funny. favorite uh, class. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's just skip that too. Okay. We'll go with Shaman. Shaman. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, four mana wicked witch doctor. I guess it's it. I mean, uh, like we already have a deck of deck for sh- like totem shaman. I think this perfectly sp- sets with that deck. There. You have that OP card, dust card totem. Dust card. Why would you run this? Yeah. No, that that you definitely can use dust card totem to run this. But the pro uh, the advantage with this card is there's no limit. You can get all four of your basic totems on the board with this. And then a lot of cards that were totem specific become a lot more viable. For uh, for like the valiant, it becomes uh, really viable. It even totemic might becomes viable, viable. And the one mana spell that gives buff according to the number of totems on the board that becomes really good. So yeah, I mean you have to evaluate how many spells are you going to play with this. Like most one or if you're Three, like two, or if you snowball, maybe three, four, whatever. Yeah. So, so it's still you, you get like one totem, and I'd always run two dust card totem. It's the possibility of getting like three, four, or like given the fact that we have that OP card in the mix. Oh, uh, okay. I think like this is outweighed okay. by. So you feel yeah, it's a bit slower it. compared to uh, dust card totem. Uh, this card order mag is really OP and like just the fact that they wrote a summon a random basic order mag makes me feel that they understood the mistake with this card order mag that it is like two arranged dependent whether you get a three four or zero two totem with the heal or something so so had it been summon a I random totem yeah that would have been insane <laughs> then I think it should have been But four four mana three three in that case. Yeah, that's debatable. Uh, yeah, probably. It's still I, the fact that it gives a basic totem. It's, it's, so it's how will it work? Whenever you cast a spell, is after you cast a spell, right? Uh, whenever you cast a spell, that means uh, first so the totem comes on the board. The totem comes on the board, and yeah. then your spell works. So whenever so you how cast, how does wild pyro work? Wild pyro so works. Uh, 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 f- whenever you cast right it's af- is it whenever or is it after so when is it a- after yeah it is is it the same wording word is it after or before just let me check then. i think it's after i think Which it's after ahead. yeah 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 uh, how does uh, so we skip to passes just for your interest and good discussion priest and rogue and we are talking shaman yeah i pa- pa- while pyromancer is after you spell so first the yeah, effect comes after? and Oh. Yeah. First, the effect no, no, no. comes, and then then the yeah, pyromancy yeah, happens. First, the spell is cast, and then the totem. No, it yeah, says so whenever you spell. cast a spell. So first, it will create, it will summon a totem, and then it will cast the spell. 
I'm pretty sure this happens somewhere else also. Uh, let me check. Whenever you yes, yes. The pyromancer has after after in it. So so okay, okay. This is how it works. Mana addict whenever. Mana addict yeah. gets buffed as soon as you play this. Spell. Yep, exactly. So it, it's it's simultaneous. What do you think of it? Really? How good is this card for constructed totem channel? <sighs> it doesn't go face. It it is not a seven seven. <laughs> it's it's not a five five either. So, uh, like uh, I was like I was of the view people might include this in totem shaman make might make space for it. Yeah, but totem shaman is basically aggro shaman with a few nice cards like okay. this card. Sorry, not this card. What's the name? Thunder bluff. Okay. So thunder bluff. Okay, so uh, becomes a lot. Uh, my view was like Thunderbluff makes it more, a lot more viable. But the thing is, you are limited to four totems. That is the problem. Like yeah. You can't spam. There is a limit to how much you can. Yeah. Even even Sakya and I felt that when they started out with the design for this card, it think it was just a random totem, and then they thought uh, <laughs> it's really off. Then they made it just ran, a random basic totem. Mm -hmm. So one more deck. I don't know. I mean, I'm still not clear. Like, if I play spell damage lightning bolt, so will it deal three damage or four damage if I re if I roll a spell totem with this? It will be uh, four damage. Buff damage. Yeah, buff damage. Like three to four. Extra damage. Okay. Ah, yeah. Oh, you lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Yeah, four damage. Right? Okay. So arena, I think it's uh, situation dependent upon how many spells you have. But I don't think you want a lot of totems in. Uh, Arena. Yeah, something might <laughs> flood your board and Yeah, and well. the problem with totems is like if you flood with if you if you have all the four totems on the board, that leaves out only three spaces, which is not that great. So your opponent is going to kill one of those, right? <laughs> <laughs> it he will definitely one kill totem. one of them. So uh, can it be like uh, can this card be used like an assured uh, uh, taunt totem uh, generator, possibly? Uh, that yeah. is too much of work, I guess. To yeah, in arena, yes, you have to cast a spell. Let's yeah, see. arena is definitely uh, that's and and even in constructed decks, uh, this one shaman doesn't run that many spells. Even mid range just runs what two AOEs, two bolts, and uh, two feral six six spells aren't good enough, I guess. What else? Still, even if you get one totem, like. I think yeah. two is what I will call a yeah, two fair is value for fair this. Value for you rather this. not run Tuskas. Rather yeah. run Tuskas. Yeah, That's what even Sankit yeah. said. The, the thing is, on an average, you either play the thing from below or this one. Yeah. Seven sevens. Okay. Like, compared to those, it <laughs> doesn't look that good. Yeah. Okay. That's the thing, like, when you have cards yeah. that are much better. Like, let's say Shaman had Pilot or Shredder, you would not even think about this. Okay. So, does Spirit Claws make you think this card would be better? Used? But that this is a lot of work. I, like, I like this card. Yeah. It's I mean, I that's a really good. one mana three three weapon. Okay. Uh, we uh, we can for sure use this card. We can get value out of this card using uh, uh, just a card. Okay, Thalnos. Thalnos. <laughs> 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 but, but it was like Thal Thalnos can die, so I was saying probably we yeah, can even get just one there. charge. I feel this is good. One fire or like charge good. for one mana. It is I, good. Like you do not mind running. I mean, you do not mind having a one three weapon because there are so many one drops. But the thing is, you have to find space for it. And it's not bad at all. I, I, I personally feel that they thought about this card because they felt bad that Shaman does not use Justicar at all. They gave them option of choosing the totem of your choice and you still don't want to use it. And it's not that spell damage does much for you anyway. Yeah, exactly. You lost Crackle. Like, yeah. Can't OTK and yeah. your AOEs are good enough. Yes. But at least you have yeah. Maelstrom portal in the next one. Which can make spell damage also viable. So, spell damage totem is favored in it's all a, three it's cards. It's a good card. Maelstrom is a really good card. 
it's one of the better but like con- con- compared to arcane explosion it's all obviously great like there are too many one has many these days started on self report so mail from portal good in arena i mean spirit clause is definitely bad in arena that's very low chance but i will still pick it i guess it's for a one mana i think it's good and for some reason i'm thinking it's a two mana card I, i'm sorry uh, yeah yeah i was also thinking the yeah. same for a long because it's a 1 3 uh, 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 i don't know why i thought about that because it is giving plus 2 attack right so i thought it was a two mana card but for one mana card i think i would pick it and in the rare moment i get a spell spell damage to attempt i hit for 3 i am happy i am happy guy i guess yeah. so okay that was scary <laughs> Let's go back to the ones we skipped. Uh, Maelstrom Portal is remaining. Oh, arena, great, bad. Good. Compare it with uh, Lightning Storm. Like that is it, way better yeah. than Maelstrom Portal. Yeah, that's for sure. I mean, it's like a, it's an assured consecrate at worst. Yeah. Has overload, but now this that's a good thing. <laughs> no, it, this one does not have overload, right? This one is not. Yeah, this one is uh, lightning storm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we'll go back to priest. Yeah. Love you. So I was, I was, we were talking like uh, in the morning. Someone put up a thread. I think you only, right, Abhi? When you like uh, priest cards <laughs> are really bad. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Instead yeah. of thread, you type thread <laughs> official thread <laughs> to bless her. <laughs> so. Sabir wrote that. Yeah, sets the same thing. <laughs> So uh, sometime back, uh, someone posted a card in the in Hearthstone group, the international group, that uh, Il- Eloise, control. Eloise or Ilio, Eloise, how, how is how is the name yeah, spelled? Yeah. So Eloise, Eloise. had uh, put up a. Uh, a pen it con- was actually purified. It was purified. Purify. It was translated wrongly. Yeah. So it was saying like give control of a minion to the opponent. Yeah. Like instead of silence of friendly minion, it was. Written that uh, what was written? Give control of a friend. Give control, and that I think would be a great card. But then uh, it just makes yeah, just uh, hand, o- hand over dome sale. Dome sale, right? <laughs> bird drop. Yeah, bird. Yeah. That's so easy to do. So definitely that was uh, like uh, they don't want uh, you to have direct control over how the opponent's deck looks like, and definitely not mechanics like this. Because uh, if you remember, at a very long period of, uh, like in in the very beginning, uh, when we had, uh, uh, I forgot the name. Illidan. Of the, Illidan. Yeah, Illidan. Exactly. You read my mind. So when Illidan was there, they used to discard uh, the whole three cards, uh, three cards uh, from both of the opponents. Both hands. So both hands and draw three cards again. So they felt that mechanic itself was very intrusive into the opposition's uh, domain of whatever they want to do. So they changed the whole outlook of the game. They wanted the game to like you do your stuff, and the rest of the thing. If you want to influence the opponent's board or their hand, you basically do an in indirect means, and not something that drastically affects their game plan. So that card, the Iliosus Elo- one's card, would have been really bad if that was the case. But this card is another silence in making. Why would you silence? Like, like we have a uh, silence. You can play hand priest. <laughs> run ancient watchers. Run. What's the other seven seven? Uh, the non-broken one. Uh, Three statue. Three statue. Yeah. Run those. Run two copies of silence. Uh, you can run five mana six six uh, corrupted uh, heal bot and use purify to silence and not give value or. Kill it and give value and, and damage the opponent with. Uh, like Watcher Druid is one of those decks that wasn't that bad. I mean, there are people who took it to high yeah. rank. I mean, this is the most troll card I have. Like, <laughs> purify silence a friendly minion. Like, priest usually buffs them. So there's currently no archetype Good. going to a. Either of you saw the stream. Huh? No, I just saw. Uh, on, uh, you, you, you heard right. 
Frodan was saying, uh, "Of course, <laughs> I just want to make my minions worse." And someone immediately <laughs> shouted from the audience, "This is a fucking horrible cut." <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. And and they and they actually shut down the stream like very soon after that. They said they just showed the cards and shut the stream. They were I don't like something related to that. I guess they did not like the uh, audience's reaction or whatever. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so I mean, uh, priest has better card draw. Uh, <laughs> then draw a card simply. <laughs> yeah. It will just simply have a card drawn from that rather than silence its the own. The only minion. hope I have for priest is with this one. Uh, what's the name? Barnes. Barnes. Play Barnes. Barnes. Play Maligos. Play this one. Prophet well, and that's it. Oh my and god. Just have spells. <laughs> just have spells, and yeah, that is possible combo. You can pull it off. Yeah. We will get to Barnes later. That is one card. Yeah. We'll, we'll try and make that deck possibly. <laughs> There are many, many, many combos you can pull off with that. So, uh, anyway. okay, we'll come back to that card later. So, Priest of Feast. Whenever you cast a spell, restore three Check health card. to your hero. Mm. Like if you, if if heal is important, there is a card that's a lot better than Sharan Kana. Yeah. If heal is that important to you. Okay, so um, um, are you constructed wise? Would it be put in any deck? I do not, because you have to. You spell. you have to you have to good for drops. You have Akinai. You have this one. I would shipping shares. I would, I would play Justicar and get four health every turn without playing a spell. That's yes, that's it. Exactly. I mean, you hero power most of the time. Yeah, anyway. exactly. Not that great, not that great even in arena. Like a great good start. They needed, they needed early card. They needed something on the lines of zombie shard, dark cultist. Yeah, yeah. Like of course not such minions, but cards you could play on those slots. They do not have a one drop anymore. They do not have a proper three drop anymore. <laughs> so Onyx Bishop, summon a friendly minion. So basically resurrect with the. Call of the Wild is a special case because it has like eight mana. Eight is too high, right? Yeah. The Twilight Flame Caller is fine. Three mana deal one damage to everyone. Actually, special I think is balanced. Me five is good enough. Actually, me and Abhi when we talked about that, the Call of Wild, we both of us felt that it was off. Yeah. It should have been a ten mana <laughs> spell. Ten mana. <laughs> Even at ten mana, I would definitely play. The thing is, we play yeah. Animal Companion for three, and those minions are worth yeah. four, four mana. Let's say. There's a four Because mana worth. Because they're random. Yeah. Because That's why they are three drops. Like it's a three drop card. Because it's random. You don't. Know. And now. You know what. Yeah. Now you get assured value. Even what you will get, even if you have five minions, six minions, like it's alphabetical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get the one. Yeah, that even that is not random. Yeah, exactly. the fact is that it is. They just wanted to make like four center to play cards which cost eight, nine, and stuff. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, they were like we 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 nerd first of nature. So yeah, have a one card come. Okay, so would this card probably replace resurrect in any decks that have been used? The thing is, resurrect is being run like you said since the past word five. Seven, five, seven days since that a lot got legend. Like it, resurrect is not a card that is generally run. But if if you actually make a, like a high tempo deck, let's say with a uh, blade master resurrect token okay, nicer, a turn four, yeah, might work. It, it, it's it's better than the other two cards. That's for sure. I mean, I remember. Uh, uh, one, I remember Trump resurrecting uh, the frog. Two or three times. 
when he was playing on his <laughs> team. <laughs> if you start yeah. with the with blade master and go into yeah, that would change. be <laughs> awesome. That is what we yes. should be looking ahead. Okay, so only yes. so constructed it's really good. I think even arena it's good. It gets you some kind of value. So, so even if, if your average curve is two drop and above, two drop and above. Yeah, average yeah. is three, three point five four, right? Yeah, yeah, three to average four. Average is at least. So even yeah. if you have bad luck with larger. It's I, not bad. It's not bad. I would pick this up if I if I ever played a priest. I would pick this up. And priest, uh, yeah, could just replace. It's one of those cards which will just win you the game, right? If you like get seven mana, like this game winning stuff. Yeah. Okay, moving on to rogue cards. We'll fasten this up quickly. Swash Burglar. Sure. Add a random class card to your. I hand. like this. I I think it would be used, but then you said uh, uh, the 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 priest card was bad, a raving grimoire. Why why do you have this card? What this one? Yeah. Uh, mage card, you mean? Yeah, compared to the mage card, this why would uh, you have this card? Cards have to be better, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, so because that... because this is not only spells but oh, it says the minions also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay. So uh, compared to dark peddler. Dark Pedler? No, sorry, sorry, not Dark Pedler. Burgle. Huckster, Huckster. 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 Why am I saying Dark Pedler? Yeah, Huckster. Huckster is a 2 2 death rattle. This is a 1 1 battle. Right? Battle cry. So, h- compared to Huckster, this seems like. And it's a pirate, so might spin off. I mean, I mean that's a very rare chance that it might I spin off. I have like a mid rangey pirate kind of yeah. team. Like, Savage would probably figure out something around this. <laughs> so, Arena. I would take this. I I I I like this. I would pick this one. Yeah, I would pick this one. Because a huckster is easily I, I, one of yeah, the most. Yeah, huckster insane. is insane because it gives you. Uh, you give, it, it gives you. It gives. It gives you legends. It gives you have, fucking legendaries, <laughs> and your opponent <laughs> even does not have them. Single <laughs> having cards that your opponent cannot play around is insane. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so deadly fuck. Add a three-two weapon to your hand. This is Op- the weapon costs three mana. That really pissed me off. What? <laughs> yeah, the weapon costs three mana. Why? I have no idea. I mean, you're paying a stat penalty on this, and you're paying a cost penalty on that. Okay, but that no that co- penalty does not matter since it's not you something you have to pay, right? But still, why would they have it as three? Okay, but still, uh, as a card, I think it's great. Uh, uh, but if you need a buffed up weapon, like three mana, you have better options. SI seven is easy. SI seven yeah. and Shadow Strike. Seven, yeah. seven. That, uh, but like these two cards, you are c- c- competing with okay. SI seven, Shadow uh, and Fan of. I I I said it's great because if like since I play a lot of Arena, I guess Arena wise, this is a great card. Yeah, arena Arena like if you have a high value deck, definitely good. Yes, I mean I would pick this because you constructed I. If if we compare this card uh, with the pirate, I guess is it a pirate four mana four four? Yes, yes. Yeah, that is so hard to trigger, and it gives you the same effect, right? It still gives you a three two, and you need to have a weapon equipped. Only then so it works. T- so you pay two mana for that. Yeah. Then you get a three then, two weapon. Then you kill it off and make sure you have not used your charge. And then you have a three-two weapon, and then you make use of it. But in this case, I play a three-drop, kill it off, turn four. I have a three-two one weapon in my hand. I guess this yep. is great in arena. I would, I would pick this up over some other uh, you know, commons out there. I think it would be awesome in arena. I would love to play with this. Uh, constructed, I am not so. Constructed, sure. that's the thing. It's competing with three of the best cards. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, and you. I still don't feel like the three mana cost is too much for me, and really don't like it that much. Like the fact that you have Arathi weapons with which equips you the weapon for just one more mana. Maybe yes. it's a one attack less weapon, but still, I feel that to pay three mana is too much. Like Despite they should the... have made something two mana, either the body or the the weapon. Okay. Uh, ethereal peddler. 
uh, okay first of all before you guys start off i think this card could uh, spin off a deck possibly i mean it would be a fun deck probably but it will still probably would spin off a deck probably not be that competitive but i think it would uh, kind of some temporary deck yeah, you have Sh Shrash burglar you have burgle you have huckster and you have this i think it would be a yes. good value and and maybe let's say you have like this one life coach is playing one deck uh, in legend it has uh, it's it's a tempo rogue deck it's not uh, death rattle like it doesn't have mazoth or anything it just has some death rattle so it has a uh, huckster it has uh, this one raptor on three okay and it has pleasures so raptor also gets you cards with the uh, huckster not bad yeah I, I think this would be auto include in those kind of decks because you, you get use two of these that's insane it's not a legendary yeah he yeah, has two of these because like if we, if we, if we, if you look at renowned darkness that one less uh, one less uh, cost itself sounds great to us so in this case ethereal predator does go the head of those of that card and it yeah. doesn't screw your it's deck better, sure. yeah and and does not mess up your own deck because this works only on the other cards that you have received so i guess this would probably spin off a deck uh in arena is just bad i mean it's good for start no, so i would pick it's it not up bad. it's not bad you pick bird fighter yeah so uh, that's what in terms of stats i would pick it up because pit fighter it's vanilla stats 5 and a 5 6 I would pick this, but uh, effect-wise, no, because that is very situational. How many five drops are better? Not yeah, not many. But <laughs> then you have five mana, four two, four three, <coughs> deal two damage to one damage minions. That's an insane card in arena. So, but I yeah, yeah. think uh, that is Skulka. So, and it's a rare also. Both of them are rare. So there's a high chance they might be offered together. Anyways, we'll figure that out. Mm -hmm. I think I will make a deck around a little bit now. Sanket? Sanket can hear us? Hello. Yeah, yeah we can hello. hear you. Okay, I will just tell him to dial again. Uh, where should I tell him to dial again? I don't know. Did he... Did he silence himself? <laughs> No, no. Uh, okay. he, you were not talking, so he was thinking what happened. Uh, no. Okay, so next cards. Next set of cards is the La. No. Warlock. Warlock cards. Imp of Malchazar. I guess that's how we pronounce it. Whenever you discard a card, draw a card. So before we discard, the feeling when Imp of Malchazar is better than Prince Malchazar himself. I think about it. Wait, 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 Prince Manchester. I think I have seen that card here. Yeah. At the uh, five legendary one. Why do you this not like probably... that card? It's good. It's is it's it a... this better? Why is that better? <laughs> it it probably uh, would uh, make people have a discard uh, discard effect cards in your deck and make get us a bit of value out of it, I guess. So that makes uh, Fist of Jaraxxus viable, really viable. Okay. Soul Fire, Soul Fire was already being used and it becomes more viable now. So Doom Guard, Doom Taxa Guard. Librarian. Doom Guard, Taxa Librarian. I but I still not pick Taxa Librarian. Uh, probably the uh, oh, Blizzard Taxa is. Taxa Librarian is good. You lose one card, you draw two cards. Uh, what two cards? You lose one card, you draw one card. Okay, like that in okay in conjunction takes, with. In conjunction with Imperf Marshall. But why is it better than Manchester himself? It's giving you five freaking field legendaries. I would already ignore that. <laughs> okay, we'll talk you about that card later. of diluting your deck. Like having a brawl on five or just a turn on six. Okay, we will we'll, we'll come to that it's, card it's later. <laughs> yeah, but, but I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying there are better options. Okay. Okay, uh, I don't know why Sanket not responding. Uh, Sanket, I don't know what happened with him. Is he alive? 
he is typing something. Now we have some issue with my web. Okay. Try and when you can. Okay, so Karak Azam. Okay, Impos Malkas are actually wanted to talk about it. Yeah. Like by default, the stats are insane. Yeah. It replaces uh, White Walker. It won't replace White Walker. <laughs> I mean, why can replace Ar- You run two copies of Agent Sky, you run two copies of uh, Villager. You can cut one of those instead. Because there are so many 2 3s, you abuse them, you dire wolf, you can kill stuff and it still survives. Okay. Like, I like the 3 health on this. Yeah, I, I personally feel it's a bit obsolete. It's also a demon. And the effect is good. Yeah. Oh, Sankir is back. Okay. Should we move on? To so, uh, arena wise, yeah, imp, of, imp of Malchazar is bad. It's. Like oh, one mana one threes are good, right? Oh, one mana one threes are good. That's true. But how many times would you pick uh, white color? Sorry, white walker. I do. Good, right? I do. I like it. <laughs> but like, it's really good. Anyway. Um, okay. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, it's Call of the Kitchen. Call of the Kitchen. Wanna be Call of White. Uh, I guess it's. I don't know what to say. Like, wh- what purpose does it serve? <coughs> you just pay for better ritual and get 5 1 ones. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And more flexible than this. But I don't know, like, uh, Warlock is rarely running any control kind of decks buffs. except of Renovox. You do not have buffs, you do not have something like Savage Row, you do not have Blood Cluster. Yeah, so, like, uh, if you want tokens, there are places to look for tokens, right? Yep, I mean, Forbidden Ritual is there. Forbidden Ritual is there, uh, Imp, Ma, Imp Gang Boss is there, better token generators than this. Okay. Anyways, I, I was not that happy with this card, frankly. The art it's, good. Is good. it's decent in Arena, right? It's decent in Arena. I would pick it in Arena, though. Like, yeah, it's good I stats. I would... Yeah. And it's a common. Yeah, it's a common. So it will be highly... There's a very high chance that it would be offered if right now when it gets bought in Arena. Okay, so Silverware Golem. If you discard this minion, summon it. Um, again, uh, Blizzard asking us to use the dis- Blizzard, uh, sorry, discard mechanic mode. Uh, probably hinting towards some, like hinting towards people should go ahead and create a deck with discard at its main thing. There is this uh, deck known as uh, Sui Black or Suicide Black in card game. Like black refers to World of or whatever similar classes <laughs> that rely on. Keep and start discarding stuff. Like cards that have drawbacks, basically. Like yeah, I really don't like. I mean, I feel that this is after our discussion today on Facebook. I feel that this is going to be too much OP. Like summoning a Zubot and not summoning a Zubot is going to make a difference of discarding a card and having a three-three body. Like, and it's not a knife juggler juggle anymore. I think this is like too much game deciding thing whether like you discard a card or you summon a 3-3 body for free like think I of feel this that op- opponent plays a uh, totem golem you soul fire it you got a 3-3 on the board yeah and that's what I'm saying on, uh, other, um, on the other hand you discard an important card say something else so I mean the RNG in this hate. is more than discard totem like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying no, but the thing is who has so many cheap cards you lose one or you lose when you don't really care. Yeah, you don't really care, but uh, still, like, summoning a 3-3, yeah. and <laughs> that's what I Jump. said, like, you are going to be pissed because sometimes your opponent got a 3-3 and you played it and you discarded some other card and had Zubot in your hand. And this will oh. make, it's not a knife juggler juggle anymore, that's what I'm saying. Yep. In <laughs> turn I imagine someone goes doom guard into double silver. <laughs> I feel that 
this is maybe more rng than boom board like like if you youtube some videos of such decks it's it's just nuts like you, they generate minions from their hand without paying the cost just because they discarded some stuff they just add the minions from, from their hand to their board Yes, Let's see. <laughs> this works out. <laughs> it, it should work. I mean, probably needs one or two. Yeah. Needs to make a deck around it. Only then it's work. Workable. Uh, Arena, I guess it's okay to just play it. Just a three mana three three. I mean, you. It's very hard to pull this off. That's, like if you pull this off, you use up all your luck. You are dead in Arena. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so warrior card, full spin. I like this. I like this as a warrior, uh, like a heavy warrior player in arena. I love this card. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> it makes it makes upgrade so good. I can hit yeah. everything. I can clear the whole board. Like I can armor the shit and up. I can armor the shit up. <laughs> And then I just gone hitting everything. <laughs> you can play that also, right? That three mana for three makes yeah. you immune immune in What? There's, There's a three mana for card. three. Yeah, three mana for three. Yeah. You are immune in your own turn. So if you attack something with your weapon, you won't take yeah. any damage. Is that a new card? Yeah, new <laughs> card. Come on. I didn't see that. Why did I not? It, it it's the last card that was revealed today. Oh, wow! That scroll this down, make, down, yeah, yeah, I saw it. I saw it. That makes it so good. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So actually, someone picked up the uh, like. Why did they give that effect to a common? That to a three mana for three. Like you saw, we saw that effect on uh, on that legendary minion. Yeah, 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 and people were like, "Oh my God, that is such a great card!" And mm. this it that was permanent, right? This is only on your turn. Yeah. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not permanent. You can only use it on weapons and stuff. Yeah, I didn't realize that, right? <laughs> okay, anyways, but still, full spin. I love this card. I love. This yeah. Card. It's three yeah. attack. Play with hero. Play with hero. Assassin's Blade. Better Assassin's Blade. For control. Yeah. I, I I love this. I mean, I think someone will come up uh, and include this like in uh, Pirate Warrior and uh, have it get buffed, make it a four five, never seen before I weapon. Go face. I can't go face. That's fine with me. Correct. Pirates go face, right? <laughs> <laughs> But this is insane control. Like it is insane control. Uh, like uh, if I the only card that comes up to this level is Brawl. Brawl is much way better than this because it clears off minions, but this card this helps you maintain your bow. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Because if you if you armor up a lot, you can use all of your armor to clear off your opponent's board and still have your own minions. So brawl, actually, which has a down point in that case, is it is not in this card's case. You can clear off your opponent's board. That is huge tempo swing. I swear that is huge tempo swing if you armor up like crazy. I don't and know. the best thing is you don't need to spend all of it. Yeah, either. I mean after that shitty weapon that they put out in uh, the last expansion, I am happy. <laughs> I am really, really happy with this weapon. It it makes me feel like I'm actually a really, really good warrior rather than some shitty uh, two attack card, five mana two two weapon. I swear, I have sweat a lot at that weapon. I found that really bad. I mean, whenever it came up in arena, I was like, "Shit," because it is shit. <laughs> okay, so enough of Iron Forge. Iron Forge for um, I love this card. Four drops are. I mean, I don't know how much do I love piloted golem. Not that much. No, piloted golem. Okay, okay, sky golem. Sky Golem, sorry, Pirate Sky Golem, sorry, I missed out. But I find, uh, I don't find that card great because four mana, four drops, rarely have uh, bodies that great, except for Yeti and uh, some of those three fives. Most of them have really bad bodies. Four fives, five fours, water elemental. 
Yeah, but that's the best you are thinking about. The rest of them are pretty sad. I don't know. I, as for some reason, I don't like a four drop on the board. Like, and that I don't random like one. this in Warrior. Is it just... Why? Because... Yeah. Because too... Why, midway, like, why would you... Armor, armor. Gain all of it. Uh, yeah. Weapon, or I'll have a good moment to play. You tell, tell me... Tell me I'm getting 8 armor... 10 armor spending for 5 mana. Then I might think of using this card. But then it would be a totally different card and not put it. But uh, <laughs> this is like, you know, it's like telling you, you know, have some of this armor and have a random four cost minion. The thing is, and hope you control play. warrior armor gain is mostly for shield slam or just yep. life gain. Yeah, exactly. And tempo warrior, they just want to play good minions. Yes. It, it's, it's, it, it's like in the middle of that. So it goes nice. Yeah, so <laughs> for tempo warrior, you said this is okay. Kind of. But then the randomness does not help, right? On turn 5, like, they play what? Like, probably that 2-6 dot or dragons, mostly. Okay. Okay. So, I guess that's that card. Arena, I guess I would pick it. Oh, uh, I'm still confused about this card. Like, it's not telling me what I should exactly do. Gain armor or summon a minion. <laughs> okay, protect the king. For each enemy minion, summon a 1-1 one, one pawn with taunt. So we play this, then opponent plays doggies, he kills our taunts. And then we play bolster. <laughs> <laughs> you play this and you play bolster, you have uh, you have. And they will play doggies and two wolves, right? <laughs> so, uh, timber wolves. Timber wolves. So, so uh, still... Uh, so they are like uh, telling, you know, remember that bolster card we had, we told you yeah, to use this you and you won. didn't use it even after uh, we made you play that brawl where that was heavily used. Uh, <laughs> still, you are not playing this. Okay, so have this card, have instant value, 3 mana, 5 mana. Desperately. Yeah, 5, five mana Why have a 3-3 three, three yeah. board on the whole. Like that, this is obviously desperate to make to, uh, this mechanic work. Thing is, you d like ghoul is better for clearing one once, but you can run one copy of this also extra. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, like, if there are high health minions that you just cannot clear with such a ravaging ghoul, there is an aggro board. Okay. They will have to trade, they can't do shit. Okay. Secondly, Versus control in slower decks, let's say they manage to get out like two or three minions, or let's say they just drop Nazoth. You drop this and then you brawl. You, like, there is a 50% chance that you you will not have to worry about those big ass minions. That's okay. also a good part. Okay, so uh, if I had to compare it with the other card in the game, the only other card that gives me 3 3 on the board is something that comes out of Rafam. So, 5 mana, get a 3-3 three, three wall on the board, that is a lot Six of value. Bolster is 2? Yeah, okay, Bolster is 2. Yes. So, that is a you lot of... Run Bolster. You do run yeah, this and control, right? Huh. Yeah, but... Why would, you... yeah, why would you do that? But this is instant board, right? For 5 mana. Do you, do you think you but would... But it's also situational, right? Yeah. It is situational. How many cards do you need to get value for 5 mana? You need to get at least 3 of them on the board, correct? That 2 board. is... 2 to 3. 3 is really good. And 3, because 3 is like 3 mana, uh, like uh, 3 plus 3 is 6 into the 18 stats on the board for 5 mana. And that too with taunt that on 3 different really things. That is really good. And imagine... Oh, double 3-3 three, three is good enough. Imagine this against aggro. Those guys are fucked. Yep. They, they have like a hard the time getting... Yeah, like the one themselves will piss them Yeah, just like the one ones will piss them. It's hard getting ag going against a couple of taunts. I mean, imagine how they were pissed off when this came out. Uh, Anatron came out or Belcher came out. Hold, hold. And imagine <laughs> you have a wall of 3-3 wall of three, three taunts on the board and you have to desperately spend a AOE effect to get that cleared. And this is just for 5 mana. This card was made because bolster was made. I am pretty sure of that. Otherwise, it's like this has yeah. This card has good synergy with brawl. Yeah. Or just like defense. Yeah. I mean, we that one one we get out of scar uh, like the the one the one was scarab that we get out of. Uh, what is the card? The 
seven seven. I forgot. So mm-hmm. that itself, obsidian. 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 That itself we obsidian. feel is, we feel it's up. Like one one thought is up for some reason. We feel that because it blocks your opponent right then and there. So I feel this card would be like someone will come up probably come up with a deck where they can make use of this, or you can just run it like. to stop aggro you can just run it there have it there what's yeah. what's part there there's no need to run bolster like nerd necessary not even need to run bolster you just stop your opponent from doing anything you can run this you can slow them down for one turn good versus good versus control also drop the sand brawl yeah mm-hmm. drop the sand brawl or drop this clear off a couple of minions on your opponent side and still he cannot touch you for the next two or three turns that is definitely an advantage in, in constructed in arena also, arena i think it is still good if you have a bit of a board like a uh, one or two minions i still think this would be like it it's very hard to clear taunts it's very hard to get aoe effects in arena so i think a one one wall with taunts i think three good. of them is sufficient to just three of them is arena. sufficient i uh, they are like uh, If I'm not wrong, even a, a couple of or three taunts are very hard to clear in arena because they just hurt because this make you sl- slow your game down. Not everyone has a, a ping in their hand to clear off things. So it has no value, but that is important. Yeah. This card does not give you any card advantage. Yeah, it I, just dies for free. I'm waiting for someone to use this and then use the ravaging guru. <laughs> that would be fun to see. I, w- I want to see. I w- I w- I'm pretty sure I would see that in a troll in video. It's very sweet. Lots of troll and stuff. <laughs> okay, so we are done with class cards. We'll move on to the neutral. Should we go from top to bottom? That would be awesome. I guess. Yeah, I'll go legendary first, right? Legendary first. Yeah. Okay, legendary first. <laughs> no problem. So, Bans, your favorite card. Yep. So, everybody promises to make a deck archetype surrounding this. Good. There are too many combos you can do. So we, we can we can probably do a live stream about that. We can we can have fun <laughs> with parts. <laughs> yeah, we we did to find find someone who has all the cards. Yeah, we did that when uh, when uh, this one came out, right? Uh, like we made that casino match kind of deck, and <laughs> we had all those RNG effect cards. That was fun. The only thing missing was Yolo. Uh, right. Uh, no, no, not right. Yolo, sir. Yorkshire, yeah, Yolo Yorkshire. We we made it when uh, LOE came out. Yeah, yeah. Because of Conjurer. Conjurer. But we did, did, did not, did not well. make the Yorkshire. Uh, so yeah, we will make them around this. So uh, constructed wise, as you said, certain specific yeah. decks. Uh, it will sp- spin off probably deck archetypes in all of the classes. Something that one shots your opponents. Not, not, not hunter. Not hunter. Okay, I mean, <laughs> maybe even hunter. I mean, I mean. <laughs> I mean, is good. Yes, but it's like it okay. comes from your deck, right? So you have to really narrow down your deck. So a spell heavy deck yeah. is more preferred. Yep. Yeah, uh, spell heavy deck. Is like good. technically, let's say you run uh, Emperor. Like I'm just telling a rough rogue deck. Uh, let's say gadgets on Emperor Maligos. Or yeah, that's good enough. Or even priest can run something with uh, like instead of walking, you can always run embrace the shadow, and everything else is mostly like nothing gains your tempo. None of the minions. I think we will we will have to figure out some. I think I'm pretty sure something. You, you can run Velen and Maligos, right? Yeah, Velen. But so, how would you summon both of them? That's what I'm saying. No, you need one, anyone. And and if you and if you do brand plus bards, it summons two copies of the same minion. Yeah, same minion. Oh. Yeah, like it summons one copy. No, same minion or should it oh, summon sorry, sorry, different? Sorry, right, be random. Too. Random, Two right? Random. So, so one, 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 well, one Malikos or any combination of yeah. the Then your mind will last year up a bit. Arena, I guess it's okay to pick this, but I think there will be better legendary options. If there are better legendary hmm. options, I would probably skip this one. You can so even learn to blurred of the ancient ones. You can just learn to blurred of the ancient ones and conceal when next turn. <laughs> Shit. I would, but I would put up for taunt or wall. So yeah. Sap is there. Sap, Sap is there. You 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 can't play that, right? Is it a ten mana thirty thirty? 
It's a 10 mana 30 30, right? So you oh, can play it. No, no, I'm saying I'll sap the taunt, right? The oh, player yeah. who plays the minion will sap the taunt. No, but Hello. how many taunts are you going to sap? I will have a wall of them on, on your one. Okay, your you'll play that new card, right? Yeah, I have a new card. I swear, I have a new card. Yeah, so I uh, was like specifically uh, in those cards which don't rely on playing on curve, generally have those minions which have value uh, oh, either yeah. battle cry or death rattle or some effect, like say yeah. miracle. Yeah, like mostly OTK deaths or death rattle. Yeah. What what if what if uh, this card uh, bans? Okay, uh, the, the the thing is that the effect is a bit uh, way. Uh, Random because it gets from your deck and not from your hand. From if it was from your hand, then you narrow down the range. What if this card was summon a one-one copy, as if you are playing from your hand? Like it also triggers a battle cry. A battle cry effect if it is there. That would be too much. That would be too. Much. But it still summons like, a one-one. Okay. You imagine you have bird gun when you play burns and it summons your death thing. <laughs> Someone actually did an analysis on Nazoth Paladin also. The only bad cards you can like, there are some cards are neutral, like let's say Aldor or Uldaman. Those will be just one one. Spiromancer will be a one one. If you play a spell, you might get something. Kodo will be a one one. Just Doomsayer is bad. But except those, you have Sylvanas. You have the, yeah. some of them that one also, that uh, new Annoyotron. That's fine, 1-1, one, one, Divine Shield Dart. You have Tyrion, you have Sylvanas, you have Kand. Those are fine. Yeah, Nazoth. Like, normal 1-1s one you do not mind. Just Doomsayer you mind. So getting one of your death rattles is good. Getting Ragnaros is good. Getting Ragnaros the Light Lord is good. It's not bad. Okay. It has a lot of options. Like, Lots of people will do stupid or TKs with it. Can like you, even if you don't want to turn down, you can run pillagers also, right? Let's say you know, getting a coin from a one one isn't bad. Azure Drake isn't bad. Spell power is fine. Valor Teacher is fine. Thalnos is fine. Anyway, next okay. one. Next one. Curator. So this definitely will be the spinning of one deck archetype. I am I am assured of that. I mean that, that does not require a prediction to do that. No, you know, you like don't this need a lot. Puts in a lot of decks actually. Directly like, like let's say you run a very draw heavy. Like let's say you run on this one, freeze mage with uh, Aligos. Okay. So you, those those decks generally tend to run cold light oracles to draw faster, play your emperor and. So you can run Cold Light Oracles and those two dragons. So let's say, let's say just Alex Draws. Okay, uh, this one draws, right? It does not summon. Okay, it draws. Okay. Yeah, draw. I got a bit Nature of Lord. Yep. Like it draws two swords. Ancient of Lore. Four sixes. Ancient of Lore ancient. is a beast? No, no, no. no. Like comparing it. Okay, comparing. comparing. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. To the old one. Okay. Um, so, are you you are saying like uh, this this would fit in probably in most of the decks that are already there? Yeah. And uh, gives you free card draw. Thinly and Kodo or whatever the like beast decks. Okay. Okay. You have Azure Drake and you run Thinly and Thinly Beast. Oh. You have it. And there are other cards also that buff, right? I just wanted to clarify whether do they buff either one of them or all of them? To ask. All of them. Oh, like one of each, one of each. Yeah, one of each. Yeah, still, yeah. but that is a lot of value, right? It's a three mana uh, three okay. two. Yeah. I, I I wanted to ask, what do you think of corrupted seer like in, in ladder for classes that are shitty? I actually I actually had corrupted seer because I did not have uh, get in because oh. <laughs> I wanted the effect for one turn, so I actually had it. But Gaiden is much more better because you can trigger, yeah, have course. it turn trigger every turn and it's very hard to remove. Whereas this is just a six mana two three. Uh, but I just some classes run Finley also can have this with Curator. Okay. Mm. So Azure Azure Drake are like Azure Drake is probably the most common dragon you can think of. 
beast may be coders and control decks okay okay so uh, uh arena you could do it actually like and for i would do it if you have my lord in wild you can <laughs> do like my lord or late game like that Yeah. Arena, mm-hmm. I feel that it just sucks. Seven mana force. Yeah, sorry guys, I have to leave. I'll come back in ten minutes. Sure, no problem. Oh, no sure. problem. I hope we are around. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So Arena, I guess it's bad. It's not that great of value unless you have like it's, it becomes a lot situational. Depends upon what kind of cards you have, and I'm pretty sure there would be better legendaries to be offered. And I'm also sure there are there will be people who will draw three cards with a ten arena. Yeah, that's also that. So. <laughs> like when you get infinite synergies, you can't do anything. Yeah. There's, there yeah. is this guy Sagar. I was playing on his account. I about a month back. I had two of those uh, pirates for for rogue. Okay. I had uh, one one huckster, three tomb pillagers, and some random like death rattles. One corrupted deal, but all that. Like j- simply having that much death rattle synergy and having Nazat in the deck, just push the deck to twelve. Like zero effort. Play minions, play minions. You draw Nazat, clear to win. Simple. Yeah, well, and Nazat is like auto win in uh, constructed itself. So I guess in Arena it would is like overkill, probably. Like, how do you deal with that? Unless anyway. you're already winning and have lethal on board, you will lose. There is nothing you can do about it. Yeah. Okay. So next card, Moros, three mana, one one spell. Uh, End of your turn, some shit. mana, one one. I think it's bad. It's. I mean, how much? It's token generation. I have better token. That is better. That is better. Imp, imp master. Imp master is better. Definitely, it is better. Like what? How many? How many tokens do you want? <laughs> like five? You get five at there. Least, <laughs> at, at least three. Then it's a three mana three three. Yeah, it is. And so it has to survive two turns. And even then, what will you come up with? Power of the Wild, Savage Roar, stuff like that. It it's too slow. Like why not just learn Violet Teacher, spam some spells, generate a board. Yeah, this is like I I'm a bit actually sad that this is one of the legendaries that we are getting. I mean, you compare. Okay, uh, I want to say you compare this whole set of legendaries against Eloi. Eloi was an awesome set. All four of its legendaries, uh, like the main legendaries, and, were and insane. Rafam is, and even Rafam is also. Good. Yeah. But it, it's slow. It, it's just slow. That's yeah. That, that's the only problem. I don't know. I, personally, I I am not that you know excited with Karazhan as much as with Eloi. I mean, Eloi actually made me spend money and get it. This makes me feel like I should just grind gold and get it, because Hello is the best one. In short, it is so the best one. Like I compare it with other, uh, it, it, it's just the best one. It's it's uh it's, uh like arena sorry it, it, legendary it revi- card. It revived Shamar. Yep. Yeah, it uh, revived Shamar. Then a drug. It's two l- pillager kept rogue alive. Yep. Then uh, this one conjurer was like insane. Insane in arena. arena. Ul- Ulda man factor so wow <laughs> like it's legendary cards spun off decks on its own reno itself like, has spun like off fil- two three decks stupid shaman so much better yeah. just because they could change yeah their just because they could change their hero power they can make it something more better it, it, it is i mean compared to that one and karazan that does not seem that exciting personally for me i mean it's best legendary out there medieval i'm not that I'm not that uh, excited about oh, it. Is it the best? It's it's. I mean, Prince so Malsh. So I would I would rather have Prince Malshazar out there rather than Medivh, yep. because at least Malshazar guarantees me five legendaries, not guarantees, but at least puts it into my deck. So I can like I can have a new account. I can have Prince Malshazar and still enjoy my legendaries, <laughs> even though yep. I don't have any legendaries at all, right? So I hope yep. uh, I think Malchazar is in the third wing if I'm not wrong, and Bedev is in the last one. So it's uh, going to be you, like this. I recall as Moros is the first one. He welcomes you. The prologue. Second right? floor. No, no, no. Prologue Moros? is like just two missions. It two has cards. Just okay. two cards. Okay. One mission, two cards. So Moros welcomes you to the hall. Barnes is in the floor above. Then the curator meets you. Like that is in that is the order yeah. you are going. In. So, so the 
fourth wing will have two or the third wing will have two. I I think Malchazar is the one probably who captures Medivh. Possible? Yep. Yep. And you, then you save him then you get Medivh too. That's... No, I think you get Medivh first. No, I think you get Prince Malchazar first. Yeah, Medivh is the main, main one. Right? Okay, so we'll talk about Medivh. The effect same as Summering Stone and they make it a legendary. We did not talk about Malchazar. Yeah, we'll talk about it. <laughs> Uh, but like I don't think uh, like this one assures you uh, like you will get uh, minions on the board if you use your spells but it is too slow too slow like I mean how many times I would have preserved my spells to make this work let's see your cheap spells you'll use early enough yeah we, I will use early Pro that's fine frost board arcane missiles yeah. arcane blast yeah. or, let's say you're playing mage okay Okay, we'll play mage. That's the best possible. Uh, yeah, token like token druid is good enough. Yeah. You have like but a, a crap ton of spells. So but how many of them are good enough to warrant it? Yeah, like you 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 have an eight drop. You play this, and the next turn you have nine mana. What do you play? You play flame strike. Does flame strike become valuable again to get seven drops on the board? I don't think so. You play, or maybe you play three cheap. Minions. It's very hard to make this one work. Like uh, I, control, it will not control get warrior is, yeah, Control warrior is another class that uh, deck that runs. I think twelve. I think twelve or fourteen spells. I think it's twelve. But how many spells are uh, like? something that gives late you a game, exactly it. like by the time you reach the late game you have wiped off like every single shirt your opponent has played and then you start all like you already start playing your threats by turn 8 or 9 yeah so are you saying like it's good <laughs> no it's, no, too it's slow. not right I mean, it's too cho slow cho cho chogal was supposed to gain your tempo by yeah. doing something good I, I haven't seen him any opponent play it at all and and this was even slower this, I, I was disappointed when this card came out. I felt that I was actually and looking why forward. Why would you make Mativ a card when he's a hero? Like Ragnaros, <laughs> I can understand because it's fucking Ragnaros. But that's, that's okay. That's, that's, yeah, but, because but, you had me. You played yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you you play Mativ as Mativ. Uh, but uh, the the card, I am disappointed. I'm actually the disappointed. The effect is good, yes, but it's too slow, it's too slow. Anyway, I mean, I wanted this, I would have played, play summoning stone and play a 5 mana spell, get some value out of it right away. This assures you value, but why would I wait until turn 8? That is the most earliest I can play. Until then, it's too slow. I have, I have probably used up a few of my spells. Probably the better ones, that like the high cost ones, 5 mana, for like 4 mana. Uh, this one. The only best best outcome of this I can see is you play this and then on turn ten you fire you like pyroblast on the opponent face. Then I had to make a deck around that. That is so not good. I don't know. And I will turn ten is your turn to yeah. win the game. Then. Yeah. I, I I will have to see if someone comes up with some kind this of makes, deck to make it This work. makes this makes Harrison so much better. Yeah, Harrison the makes first, a comeback again. You, like it's already Harrison. there, it's already <laughs> there, amazing. already there, but still it makes another comeback there. Yeah, like, in turn 8, like, at best, you can play this on turn 10 and play 2 spells. Could, at best, could, play could, like 2 1 mana spells. Could, if you wanted Even then to, if, uh, I was saying like, if you wanted who, to who be wants modern, one mana modern. Yeah, you who wants 1 mana wins, exactly. If you wanted to remodel this card, what would you make it? What stats would it have? Like, not the effect. What stats would it have? Do you think a lower, lower value would make you play this? I, I'd, I'd, I'd probably make it like the stats of. I pro just can probably swap with Mal because five mana, five six. Okay, five mana, five okay, six. Okay, let's say let let's say five mana, four four. Of course, there has to be a start but yeah. Five mana, four four seems reasonable. Yeah. Then I have like it comes a lot earlier, right? And then I, I also get a bit of value out of it. I'm just hoping that uh, like Blizzard has done a lot of playtesting with this card, and that's why they came up with eight mana seven seven. And it's not an eight eight mana seven seven just because it's a legendary. I hope that is not the case. 
Okay. Anyways, that is. The only class I can think of that can actually gain value is droid. Yeah, because but... you can ramp up. No other reason. Because I'm... you can play it like very early. Yeah. You but... have double magic, so you can run double darn as well. But why would you play such a yeah. deck? Would you rather just? Why would you? Exactly. And that that too. This is RNG again. Like I have to hope. Keep my fingers crossed. I get something good. And if I don't, I suck more. That's that's yep. all the more bad. Okay, that's with that card. Arena. I don't think I would pick it. It's like constructed okay. itself. It's so slow to work. Arena. I I think it will take. I uh, like Malthus pull it off. I think this is now the. No, no, like in arena, I felt like to just pull it off would be a miracle. To make my day work. Okay, okay Prince Marcelar. I I love this like, card. Let's talk about arena first. <laughs> it is the best card. Arena, arena, it is like. I told you, right? Like you make a new account, buy Karazan, enjoy your free legendaries with just one legendary. <laughs> Oh my God! You don't even need any legendaries in your deck because Prince Felster gets you for them. It gets them for you. <laughs> I love this card. This, I think it. This is. I a, think it fits best in, best in Druid. Like, you have like normal ramp Druid. You have like wild growth and inner weights than this one. Double nourish, double mire keeper. So there you have a lot of card draws as your tricks. Nourish also draws you cards. Like you ramp up so hard, you do not have room for that many threats. You yeah. run very limited, like ancients of war, Araka, all that. Yeah. I think this card is so more like, uh, more like, uh, um, you know, Elise or like, uh, yep. like fatigue it's mo- actually more like Elise. It's it's it takes you five cards above your fatigue level and f- fatigue level. Yep. Okay, <laughs> and it's actually that kind of card. It's a legendary that's not. That awesome, but it fits good in my control decks. So I would use it like I use Elise, like I use Sylvanas, like I use Ragnaros because these decks, these cards don't serve a particular purpose, but they help me out as a legendary. You can you can actually not run <laughs> Ragnaros, not run Sylvan. Okay, Sylvanas maybe. Okay. The like, thing is that there is this uh, removal warrior deck. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Thing. This is like it says like uh, okay start of the game right it's not a battle cry okay I thought it was a battle cry so you just need to have this in your deck so you can't uh, combo it with anything else imagine imagine if it was a battle cry and you combo it with uh, shadow step or you combo it with that yes. rogue cards that would be insane just you never you never yeah you never fatigue ever never ever fatigue in your life <laughs> you just pull it off you make copies of this. <laughs> But then, then it would be broken as shit. It would if be it broken would be as shit. Trick. If it was a battle, because like you, you, you would play it late in the game when you already drew your removals, removed all the early threats. Yeah. It, it would make your deck a lot more consistent. Yeah, like free legendaries. You get legendaries. You get legendaries. Everyone gets legendaries. I love this. In fatigue decks, like you can just r- not run any like in control warrior. You run just a car. You run Harrison. You run Baron. Yeah. Three like removal or tech based cards. Yeah. And you don't run any other legend. You run Elise. You run this. Yeah. I mean, even if I get a couple of uh, decent legendaries and I draw it, I wasn't happy. I'm a happy guy. In this case. Okay. So Manses are one of the guards. One of the better cards in the whole expansion, I would say. I loved it for some reason. Arena, it's great. That's Wow. Yeah, the default stats are also good. Like, the there is no are. drawback. It's a freaking pit fighter. Like, no drawback in the stats. It's a, it's a, it's a demon pit fighter. I always mistook pit fighter for a demon because there's a seven mana six eight right. So I always thought pit fighter was a demon. Then this comes along. It is a demon. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Anyways, neutral uh, cards, Apex, Arcane Giant. I don't have much to say Holy about shit. it. Holy It's it's like. Oh my god, this in co- Tempo Mage, it's freaking insane. In Casino like, Mage, it's freaking insane. You can even insane. run it in Warrior, you don't want Shield Slam, Bash, Slam, yeah. Brawl, Execute. I think its average value is around 6. six. I think you can easily play 6, min- six spells until then. It's not variable, it always goes down and not up. Same as how... But then you have to compare this with uh, the 
frost giant but then frost giant requires you to move oh, yeah. use your hero power which is a lot more yeah. bad and in this case spells automatically happen in the game right you don't have to like right now the most used spell decks are probably control warrior and this yog druid mm-hmm. i would i would yog i would druid. have this in spell heavy decks yeah like yog druid plays or uh living roots rat wild growth nourish so easy easy that would be easy to have it there like like those are all early games guys yeah. you can easily play this like turn 5 turn 6 yeah definitely okay so the rares three rares to go book worm If you are holding a dragon, destroy an enemy minion with six attack or less. Definitely fits it's slow. dragon it's priest. It's slow but really good. It's, it's slow it, but yeah. Really the uh, I think it starts uh, like it should have been a five drop, possibly. Five five drop. So this is basically, but if you compare, like you, you, unless you are hunter, you are supposed to get minions that have a spell attached to it and pay the same cost. Yeah. I I I mean I so can for 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 my mana three six plus shadow word pain seems good but uh, but it's a situational shadow word that's that, that's that's, the that's fine that's fine I am okay with that because it gets a body on the board and I I can already use my shadow words on the smaller ones yep. correct so it's it's, it's good with dragon concert as well yeah right I mean you can use this against uh, tempo warrior wreck tempo warrior crazy. Okay, arena. It's situational. It's bad. Very bad for stats. I won't pick it. Yep. Avian watchers. Watch if you control a secret, gain plus one, plus one, and taunt. Four seven taunt. Four seven taunt. Four seven taunt. Again. It's okay, so, right? Four seven taunt. Yeah, I mean, if you run it, like again, at first turn, you know, mage mostly. Yeah. Like just 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 an ice block, right? It's the only secret you run in the whole deck anyway. Then if that is the case, why isn't uh, this one so great? The five minus three three. Uh, why is that not played so much? And it's it was but when Mad Scientist was a thing, like secret mage was used. That Jackie Chan he took it to Legend two three. Both any idea? Okay. Like it, it wasn't bad. It was just that most, of, like most of the secrets you used to play would be triggered very soon. Okay. And those decks did not play ice block, but Reno Mage is a deck that runs ice block, and uh, four seven taunt is a good replacement. Like they used to run Belcher. A four seven taunt is not bad at all. It's not bad for five mana four seven. I think it's very good. Okay. So Arena, it's bad. Like it's not a short taunt; it gets taunt only after you have control the secret. So five mana three six stats is really bad. It does not even pass the vanilla test. Okay, so mode loco, but it's very interesting. This is many. very interesting. It is a dis- interesting card. Like, in what cases would you use this? You I can use it on, let's say, Sylvanas. You can use it on any Deathrattle. Oh menu, my God, so with Sylvanas, we, it's it's crazily op, right? Yeah. Like it's if you be. if you have a Sylvanas, you turn turn play it at turn six, okay? You kill off a smaller minion, and your opponent plays something. Then you hit with Sylvanas. You 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 use Mode Lurker. You control an opponent. You steal it. You steal yeah. it, and then it comes it, back. Free <laughs> and and when you play the Zerath, you get two Silvaras. Yeah. Oh my God. So so uh, I think probably people will try and have it in Zerath decks, but no, I don't yeah, think any other places. In, right. It's good in many. It's good in many. Like let's say you have a damaged min. Damaged minion, and, uh, and you okay, you you get okay, to refresh okay. it. Or uh, let's say you have uh, yeah damage minions get refreshed. The problem is like uh, it's a bit even slow. Even if you do it on let's say your your opponent has a TV and you play it, you go face or whatever. Yeah. So your opponent has to deal with this. Then he gets this TV back, but he cannot attack with it. Yeah. But that's the good thing. Like even even if it is dealt with, you they cannot use their minion. Why is it a six mana three three? 
why is it not lesser? Why is it not a four mana three three? Is it that that is this combination of effect so good in case if you it works in your favor that they made it six drop? I mean, only time would tell actually if that is the case. We only had to figure out like the current example we took for uh, Silvana. So it's two up. It's really up. There must be some really good. Yeah, numbers. that's why they have made it a six mana three, three. I mean, I think I would probably someone will come up with a few videos showing to make this work. We can see not a deck, but probably a few videos regarding this. You can see a trolling video <laughs> regarding this. Okay, so that's the rare cards. So the last set of cards. There are nine neutral commons. Pompous Thespian, two mana three two taunt. Uh, nothing. Power much. creep. Just a power creep. Power. <laughs> and it has an iron inside. So. Sanket, you there? Yeah. Uh, okay. So I'm we are. Late. Oh. We are on to the commons. The last yeah. set. Uh, okay. Let's let's talk about that mode lurker. Like, he, he was very keen on that card. Which one? Mode which lurker. One? Mode lurker. So six man or three three. Yeah. 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 Why bad, right? <laughs> No, it's it dip, it's actually a bit confusing. It's, it's very expensive. It's very expensive. That's the problem. It was less than probably someone might have come the up. The effect with. is good. The effect is amazing. The like we just talked about how we can make it work with Silvanas, and it's so insane with Silvanas. You get twice the yeah, value yes, with right? Silvanas. Etc. Like, you destroy yeah. your own Silvanas, but that's still tempo loss, right? So far, you lose a five-five board. No, you, you don't. You don't. Uh, like we, I give an example where you use it to kill off a smaller minion. The opponent plays something, then you hit for five damage. You smote lurker, and you get control of your opponent's minion. And when this dies, your Silvanas comes back. In that case. I mean that's a very specific situation to talk about it. Yeah, but even like let's say your opponent has a taunt or something, you just kill it and go face. Yeah. Or you just stop something huge. Like let's say death thing is very common right now yeah. in Dragon Warrior. Yeah. The, the, you play that. They already lost their full board control. Yeah. And the thing is, even if they get it back, they cannot attack with it the same. Time. So, so I think probably it is expensive because it does not have a condition attached to killing a minion, right? It does not have a condition attached. Like for most of the times, if you see most of the destroy minion cards have a very uh, have really bad stats. Example, uh, Hemet or uh, the dragon, the le destroy a legendary, uh, like destroy a minion card. Or for example, even even uh, Black Knight is six mana Blade four five, Kathun. correct? Blade of Kathun. They have really compromised stats because. They consider destroying a minion very, very expensive. So in this case, at coming it at six mana, it destroys it, and it it like it it clears it temporarily for you. So I think for six you mana, I think it's mana. that is why purify is two mana. Now I understand. <laughs> that is why Ooh, eight mana combos. <laughs> I <laughs> that is why purify is two mana. <laughs> I I didn't get it. Should have been. I, you miracle that you I purify. I just want the use of purify. That's it. <laughs> you oh. can purify them. Oh, <laughs> destroying an opponent. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that also works. Yeah, Abhimanyu, yeah. hello. <laughs> okay, I thought you disappeared. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we. Yeah, one more thing. Oh, yeah. just one more work. But like to ask, what do you think about the giant? Yeah, oh, it's mm. it's OP. It's OP. It's good, right? Yeah. Yeah, but it's it's so good. Like, you right now, I guess, uh, York Brood is Miracle very popular. Miracle Brood, Miracle Brood, put it and conceal it. That's my first. No space for us. Yeah, as it is there in conceal. So we move. You can, like, uh, let's say, backstab is there, eviscerate is there, fan of knives, replicate. Like, you easily play four or. Four or five spells by what? Turn four or five easily. Yep, can easily play it for like six months. The auction years and villager coins. Perhaps. Okay. <laughs> Inside can see. Okay. Yeah. Uh, should we okay, move on to neutral? Uh, so we will move on move on to the comments. So, Pompous Thespian. We said so just said it's a power creep. That's all. Yeah, start work ever. <laughs> Se okay, second best start was ever. Zubot. Best one is beside it. Yeah. Okay, Zubot. Give a random 
Fendi, Beast, Dragon and Merlot plus one plus one. This is insane. I mean, you have, need to have it on board, but you compare it with three mana, three two, uh, Scarlet Purifier, right? Sorry, Cleric. Shattered Sun. Shattered Sun What the hell am I saying? <laughs> Shattered Sun Cleric. It's so good. This is really good. I, I would say it's really good. And it's a mech. I, I mean, we are, there are very less mechs in Aegis right now. But still, it's yeah. really it's good. A curator is also a mech. I like, like, is there something yeah. to it? I mean, uh, in Arena also it's good. Like, like even if you don't pull off the 1-1, one -one, that's still fine. 3 mana 3 3. I am okay with picking it. I love this card. Okay. Nether Spite Historian. If you are holding a dragon, discover a dragon. Again, can oh, only sure be is. part of uh, dragon decks, that's it. Like all the so dragon cards are dragon dependent. Yep. Like Paladin is the only class that does not have a dragon based to drop to play. Or any neutral that they can use consistently. So you are saying Nether Spite Historian would be better in that case? Uh, it, it can be used actually. Because that is one of the slots that Paladin does not have a card for. And Warrior has Alexstrasza as a champion, one of the best. Priest has Worm Rest Agent. Okay. Okay, uh, Arcan Anomaly. And, and, and dragons in general are pretty good. Yeah, dragons in general are pretty good. Like the worst dragon is 2-1. Uh, right? Uh, it's a 2-1. Worst dragon. No, but, but that is a 2-3, right? Like if you, ha if if you have, have a dragon. that dragon. <laughs> yeah, so if you already have a dragon, it will be a 2-3. Okay. We'll move on to the next arcane anomaly. Yep. Arcane anomaly. Whenever you cast a spell, give this minion plus one. Would you spend your f one drop to use this? Why, why would you have more health rather than attack? Are you stupid? I'm looking <laughs> at. Uh, I'm looking at. Like uh, of course. Uh, mana worm. <laughs> and I'm looking at uh, this. Thing. Okay, mana worm. Tunnel troll. <laughs> why would you have more health? I think it's uh, okay. is with this one. Uh, like one drops is not where you, one drops is not where you try to look for health, right? Well, you can play twenty nine, like a lot of spells. Yeah, make it a two, make it a two thirty, right? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's okay. It's not a bad card, not but bad I card. don't know if it will it's find room in Tempo no, Mage. No, I don't think so. It's not gonna make room. Tempo Mage, are you serious? Why would you, why, why would it, you know, when mix? Like you have Mana Worm, you have Mirror Image, you have Arcade, Blast, you have Arcade. You, you know how Tempo Mages think? Is it, is it a spell? No. <laughs> is it a does spell it that makes damage? No. It does not have random? No. <laughs> this is, this is like striking of all, like it's striking of Three times it's not gonna go into its tempo <laughs> and that's possibly the best possible deck if you can put it other than druid. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, druid have the two two, <laughs> two, two, druid the two, two <laughs> they will also say fuck off, please. <laughs> I already have the one health <laughs> and I'm a beast already. Okay, pantry spider, summon a one one spider. Why, and yeah, that is one three, and it's, that's one three. One th it's that's a one three. three. Yeah, one three plus one three. It's a two four. Yeah. Two six. Two six. Two six. What two six? It's a much a one three spider. The text here is wrong. It's a much a one three spider. Yes. Oh. Even then, it's bad, right? Yeah, it is yeah. It's still bad because they e die easily without doing much damage. Yeah. It is like a one six, right? Okay. 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 I just thought of something. You played this. And you play Hubgoblin. Defender of Argus. <laughs> two for two for dogs. Two for two for dogs. Instant value. Instant, it's it's that is instant value. It's not instant value. You have to do it the next time. It does not work. Still, it just but the claim are better, no? <laughs> are better. Four three dogs. Yeah. Uh, three for the, like, the other guy is also a beast, right? The spider? Yeah, obviously. I hope so. Yeah. 
Okay, Menagerie Magician. Give a random friendly beast dragon and murloc plus two plus two. Again the same like Zubot. Uh, it's not a mech. It's not a mech. But it's it's like Zubot. It, this one gives plus two plus two. That one gives plus one plus one. So again it goes into those kinds of desk. Decks. <laughs> <laughs> I'd run mech for sure. Yeah, it probably. I, but I, I'll even run mech, dude. <laughs> Make the mech ship. Oh yeah. Okay. A runic egg. Why was this card made? Yongu said there are very interesting cards that work with. Like, you remember? You remember the two mana zero two? It only worked in uh, aggro. It only worked in Zulok, and that too was so hard to trigger. Why would I trigger this just to draw a card? I can freaking tap and get a card. Yeah. <laughs> Spend. Um, and you can tap and still play better minions with the mana you have left. That's yeah. Like, like, do you realize how much work this takes? I, 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 I need to, I need to realize what possible combo yeah, is possible with this. Like. It is insanely slow. Like even at first one mana, it has zero attack. Zero twos are like terrible ha- stuff. Had it been one mana, one one draw card. Track. It is a death rattle. Death rattle, yeah. That it's... is also delayed. Yeah. And draw if card it would is be not a even one, one... tempo mechanic. Would you and like draw... it if it were a one mana one one death rattle? They would have. Yeah, insane. Yeah. They would have not given it. I promise you, they would have not given us. Yeah. <laughs> like... So you can do this. You play this and go to blood. You can make a corrupted order, bigger corrupted order, polluted order. Sorry. What should I do with it? Nothing. <laughs> if should does it compete? It is not something my opponent is scared to hit. That is my point. Okay. Does... Dragon egg. Opponent gets a two one tempo on board. I hit it. Opponent gets a card. Okay, he was going to get it either. Like, <laughs> not that I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Um, there will be an X something. Does does up. it does it? Why could uh, not? Does it compete with the uh, 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 zero two taunt that one? Neither am I. Target dummy. Uh, target dummy. Does it compete with that? Or target dummy is more. That is a rare. That is, that is rare. A zero mana it card. is a mag. Uh, it is a mag. More yeah. synergy with mag power. So more value, right? Ra- more than this card. It's a zero mana, right? Target dummy. Yeah, that's even a zero mana. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, when you play it with Mac Warper, you get minus one, so you gain like extra mana. I Try swear, I swear that should have been. A, I swear, no, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought it should have because I don't know. I always thought it should have, but it doesn't for some reason. That's sad. But I this is. I think this is this, at this, least. I think this card competes for being the shittiest card in the game. This card definitely competes. Game in yeah. the expansion, sure, but I'm. It's expansion, sure, but I think even in the game, like the worst card right now in the game is Magma Ranger. But Magma Ranger yes. at least does something. It at least <laughs> makes your opponent use your hero power to kill it, right? This does not even do yeah. that. <laughs> I don't know. I swear. I think. I think. I declare this to be the best card for me at least in the game. And like draw card. The opponent will be like, fuck this, I'm not even touching this. Oh my God. And it takes up space. You see, <laughs> it it takes up space. tentacles for arms. Why would, why would I have it in my deck in the first place? Like, oh, so this is that unicorn priest deck. Like you use this with tentacles for arms, correct? <laughs> I, oh my God. Like, you, you read, right? There is an unicorn priest deck. Mm, no. Okay. No, I'm not aware of. Yeah. Okay, so uh, there were these players who were complaining, priest is bad, priest is bad. Ben Broad replied that there may be some uh, decks that people just do not know about that may be very good on ladder. Okay. Priest decks. <laughs> then? Yeah, so That's everyone started. Like, uh, this one, this guy's toast made a video, Crip made a video, this uh, Firebat made a video, finding the unicorn priest deck. Everyone killed. <laughs> okay, okay, that was okay. That was like no joke. one even got fifty percent win rates except this guy's trust. He added Cthulhu. 
he added uh, Nazar. He added uh, all four guards basically. Yes, Shaj. <laughs> so he basically added more than half guards that were not pleased. <laughs> then he uh, and he crafted he crafted them golden just to make that deck. Four old guards, right? With the three, no? Fuck! <laughs> I swear, I have never ever crafted a golden card, let alone a golden legend. For God. I crafted unstable portals. <laughs> and the <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, next card. We'll down to the last two cards. Arcano Smith. Battle Cry, summon a 0 5 minion with taunt. How does this work? Hmm? I, the only thing I can think of is cold blood. What is this zero five minion? What minion? It should have a name, right? Like how it says summon a one one spider. <laughs> summon a zero five minion. Which minion with taunt? Summon a zero five Ragnaros with taunt. Like zero five Ragnaros with taunt. Is that what it means? A zero five whatever the shit minion with taunt. Is it really like that? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't oh. think we should judge based on... Uh, is is the card for 0-5 taunt released? I mean... The... Yeah, wait, <coughs> let me check Arcana Smith. Let me check Arcana Smith. One minute. Yeah, because I saw a video in which like they were telling that Dr. Boom is a bad card. Just because they do not know. Like initially when it's not announced, 7 7 7 2 1 1 Boom Bots. Like, yeah, and and Boom, boom Bots may explode. Yeah, and people felt it was really bad card just because it is seven one and nine nine stats, and then no. afterwards they released <laughs> there there are YouTube videos on this. No, no, no. The, you know what <laughs> what happened? What happened uh, when they released GVG? I don't know you were around or not when GVG released. Yeah, I wasn't not. around. I heard it from a friend. Yeah. So what happened in GVG yeah, was understand. that was the very first expansion, okay? And people were already set with their existing cards and their existing mentalities of how cards should work. And that was the very first time the meta was going to get, you know, a bit, uh, like, was shaked around. And so people were looking for cards that were already complementing their correct decks. Well, okay. the meta was shut around just two months before that why yeah. it taken anyway. Yeah, so people <laughs> were like, uh, you know, they most, like, they said Healbot was bad. When I looked at Healbot, I thought I can think of three or four combos that you can go with it. And make sure that you know in, in in the long run you can take value out of it. But Trump, Crip, a lot of people said it's a shit card. Okay, now will you say they it's said a shit he card? Was useless. They said he's heal is useless. Yeah, they say heal is useless. People came up with decks where they healed six to seven times using just one heal bot, not even the second one. Imagine that happening, and you know it becomes so a headache after some time. When you see people healing to that extent, it's and you are like, fuck it, I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> because I'm going to play and this fucking guy just heals up. That is so stupid. And they said that heal is not there important. There was this uh, deck actually, Salty Control Mage. Like you would play uh, Il Illuminators, Heal Bots, Belchers, mostly. You play Echo of Mighty, you play Duplicate, and then you like, oh shit. Bolt and Giants. That is, that is. <laughs> like, so at that time, right, ma many of the YouTube streamers, many of the leading gamers at the Hearthstone players at that time had got it very wrong. I mean, they said, I mean, even I felt like, uh, uh, like Dr. Seven was a bit, you know, RNG potent, but because people did not want, wanted RNG to come into picture at that time. Like uh, they were like GVG was mostly an uh, RNG heavy expansion at that time. People compared really. to Origin. Yeah, not really. Right now we feel it is because not. Because that time the mechs were very heavy, right? Yes, exactly. So and like holy shit, Tur like turn two mech warper, coin mech warper, summon three or four mechs. <laughs> there is no person that did not consider. Yeah. No one. Yeah. Like people felt, you know, the RNG of Ragnaros or even Sylvanas was really a lot of RNG for a game that might go competitive. So when GVG came out, they were like, fuck this shit, everything is so RNG based. And now you look at, uh, like, now you look at the kind of RNG there is in the, in the game from a broader perspective and you realize that it is much more okay, like it's okay, so now you can manage it. And GVG does not feel that bad. But when it came out, everyone was like, I, it's going to be an RNG fest, it's going to be an RNG fest with all those uh, uh, spells, like w those one, ma one mana spells, what do we call it? 
Uh, spare parts. Spare parts. All those spare parts and this RNG that goes into uh, the seven, Doctor Seven or any other kind of RNG that was coming in, people were very very skeptical about it. So because it was like not spare. Spare parts with Antonidas was incredible. Incredible. That was the very first combo everyone thought of. And, okay. and they made mechs, and they made mechs where only one class could gain advantage from. Yeah, and like mech mage wrecked, wrecked the meta for about a month, if I'm not wrong. Then it died I, down. I remember playing it from what uh, January to April or so, like till BRM. Yeah, even I did. Even I had the mech mage deck, and whenever my friend used to come home, I used to pass him on my phone, and he used to ask me what deck should I play. I said play mech mage. Because that's so easy to play and it gives you so much value out of it when you play it. Because it was just insane, it was totally insane. Like you finish the game off of turn 5, turn 6 and if it does not, you have... You have Antonidas. Antonidas in Yeah. Dr. Boom is there, Antonidas is there. They are there to fuck over anyone who comes across. So it, it was insane. So but The best thing is, they gave Mage like two absolutely broken cards compared to the other ones. Like Snow Sugar and Blast Mage. Yeah. Like Blast Mage. Blast was Mage was too too bad. Like it hits for four damage. There was no card that does that. Okay, there was no card because it was so Even easy to get mechs no in card. it. No, there isn't because they realized they messed up at that time. Because Mech Mage become so rampant, people were like playing just Mech Mage, and everywhere that people started like the meta changed to counter Mech Mage. That's that's how it had become at that time. So. The people were very, like many YouTubers had a wrong impression of a lot of cards, and I was really pissed off when someone said like uh, Healbot is bad, and then they were like they realized it very soon. Like Healbot was god in uh, Handlock, and I love to play Handlock, and I would still love to play it again. But since just Healbot is gone, and the and the giants Intention. have been nerfed, that becomes really hard to play. But still, there are people out there playing. So now that Healbot is gone. Now that Belcher is gone, Belcher was a really good card, everyone regarded it as a really good card. But now that Hillbot is gone, people realize how fucked they are from aggro and how much they need it. <laughs> That's the one card one I missed. One of my first experiences in Hearthstone, like when GVG came out, I played like just after the next came out, played the next adventure after the fourth thing came out, I missed the free thing. What happened was I like, I never played Arena. I thought, okay, let's try arena. First arena pack, I got Dr. Boom. From, <laughs> I think, it was a 1-3 yeah. or something. Uh, I, re yeah. I remember that free arena pack, they had given a free arena run, right? When GVG. Did GVG run yeah, for yeah, yeah, yeah. was free? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I opened it, I was like, what the hell? Boom bots may explode, <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. So, I saw, I, People I saw reviews confused. of the card. I saw reviews of the card. Everyone said, it's shut, okay, it was shut. As soon as I started playing against the card, I was so pissed. It, it, it was like, the, the text was also confusing. May explode, as in, does it say that it may not yeah, damage it? Exactly. It? It, it should not say may explode. It should not say may explode. That was, that was like kind of uh, vanilla, like uh, flavor text, but they should have kept it in the flavor text section. <laughs> rather than on the card itself. May explode? I, we don't understand what does may explode mean. Okay, we'll come back to the and finish this off. Arcano yeah. Smith, I checked, it's just a 0 5. It does not say if it summons a specific minion as a 0 5. It just says a 0 5 minion. So, like the only thing you can do is play Cold Blood on the 0 5. Yeah. Like, why would I four. waste 4 mana but to. Why, but why would you do that? Yeah. If you want to taunt 0 5, like, you know, if you remember what. There was this zero mana, uh, one mana or zero for taunt, right? At that time, I forgot. People don't even play with that card anymore. Yeah, shield bearer, shield bearer. Shield bearer. So it was so good. It it had enraged plus one attack. You remember? It at, at before, right? Like before. Uh, yeah, it yeah. It had it had enraged. It gained one or two attack. Not sure how much. Uh, so uh, probably this card can be used in bolster warrior. Like it's okay to have a 2-7 taunt, right? That's really oh good. <laughs> again, both sides. I will come again, again to both sides. Okay. Forcing yourself to find <laughs> user. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so, last card. Pilot Illusion is really great effect. 
really i think uh, probably some it's good in weapon classes it's good, it's good with life tap it's good it's good with life tap life tap uh it's good with sadest warlock basically yes life tap is like man right you how, how about we make a deck we call it sadest warlock and we make use of yours and so sadest warlock will play pit lord we say we say oh, pit lord, lord. so we say sadest not so sadest uh, not so sadest war warlock like that <laughs> we'll leave it because this does not affect you right so Yeah. But it's it's a bit I hard know. to make it work because it's three mana four three. So, so how much does Chogal cost? It costs seven, right? Yeah. Wait, Chogal costs how much? Chogal seven. Seven. Seven so, mana seven. Seven. Let's three. <laughs> so it had said that the spell uses the next spell or next spells. Next spell you cast this and only spell. one. One spell. One spell. Any spell that could turn around turn around the game. Yep. There might be something. Uh, shadow flame. How do you yeah. shadow flame? Chogal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you want to have a six-six flame strike? <laughs> Someone actually did this versus me. He played Chogal. He played Par over well. But I was still waiting. Then he considered. I added him a dash. What happened? He said I wanted to shadow flame with Pio. <laughs> But four mana is something that you can afford to take damage. Something should be really no, good he, if you are using this. He, he thought all the spells will cause. All the spells. Oh, okay, okay. He played <laughs> Pio and he considered. Like if it had been like uh, all the spells, then this combo would have been crazy. Instant tempo, instant tempo. <laughs> okay, so that's it. Arena wise, I think. It's uh, just a vanilla it's, three mana four three. It, 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 it's good in uh, rogue. It's good in rogue. I mean, that's what I was going to say. It was good in weapon good classes. You you would like it in druid maybe if you are playing stuff. Like any class that uses its face to yeah. your stuff. Okay, so that was the last card we are done with. Forty five cards. That's a lot of cards still compared to. Uh, like uh, we like, we are getting per card value. We are getting a lot of uh, like. Per uh, dollar value, we are getting a lot of cards. Comp it's as yeah. good as LOE. So you want to pick your favorite cards from each of these slots, like common, legendary, class. Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> so, so druid, best card. Are we going uh, that way? Yeah, that's where. Oh, right? you're going from up to down. Okay. Yeah. So druid best card. Uh, druid best card. Uh, Warden, sorry. Warden. I guess water for me too. I would. The thing is, you run like you can get a shard value of it. That's the best part. Yeah. Okay, hunter. Mm. Cloaked I like hunter. Grandmother. I think cloaked hunters. This would this would make hunter great again. Did they make the artwork hazy on purpose? No, I think the cards are not that. Uh, Hey, it's most cloaked, blo right? It could be on purpose. A lot of cards are uh, hazy. Okay. No, no, it's it's named cloaked, right? Maybe. So. That's <laughs> why it's white color cloak. Whatever. Just skip it. <laughs> okay, mage. Oh, fire. Silence portal easily because at the <laughs> all three are not that great, but silence okay. Paladin. Templar. 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 Easy Templar. Priest on a special. Yeah, this is easy. Class rogue, uh, like rogue is swash bagger actually. I think for me it's dead, okay. deadly fox since I play a lot of arena. I think it's deadly fox. But it's like it's not peddler. We are not two emperors or something. Oh wait, <laughs> we all three of us had different cards. Yeah, but I think is for me in arena. I think I will be playing a lot of arena. Deadly fox is great for me. Like whatever happens with these cards, it it will surely be fun. I mean the rogue ones, yeah. random class. Ones. Yeah. Shaman. I like the weapon. Was yeah. Uh, even I think I will go with spirit claws. Somewhere I think we can make this work. Warlock like cards. You don't mind the three. There are so many tokens floating around in the meta. You can kill them if you get the buff. Yeah. Exactly. Warlock cards. Yeah. 
Probably Malkazar. Yeah, Malkazar. Oh. Malkazar. Yeah. Warrior cards. Fools Bane. 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 Oh, we, you, we are it's not slow. there, right? We, we hated this card, both yeah, yeah. of us. What? It's very slow. It's very slow. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's slow. not. I, wa- I wanted a minion it's... early, I would use a summoning stone. That's what we basically talked about. <laughs> no, I won't use Yeah, you can just play it and forget about it and just play something like Brawl and you get a minion or play Twisting Nether, you get a minion like or play Doom. I think it can be good and po- like are possibly yeah. Druid Ring and... It? This one, Warrior. Not Warrior Warrior has like very cheap spells, eh? only Brawl. Yeah, only I said uh, Yogg Druid. Oh, Yogg Druid, I'm sorry. So, hey, yeah. Yogg Druid, it's... In Reno Lock, I feel that this is really good. Like, although it competes with Rag. The thing is, uh, I most of spells are removal you use early. You use early, like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. I get it. I'm just saying in a control game, like in Aggro, it obviously sucks a lot. Like, uh, in control game, the value out of this is insane, right? It yep. is, but what value cards right? would you get out of it? What is the best card? Uh, okay, let's say you are playing control match. What card you say you are getting out of Mati? Like, the be- Reno the I play Twisting Nether. I clear his board and I have a tempo on board. Isn't that too OP? <laughs> okay, that That's is just... one case. But then you lose your 8 minus 7, 7. You are already behind in the That's game. Right? Okay, I will just give an example. You are saying you are behind in the game, correct? You, you play Mediv, then next turn you play Twisting Nether, then you have a minion on the board which you play next turn. So that's three turns later. So that's why we said it is slow. It is value, three it is turns tempo, turns. but it yeah, is yeah, slow. Yeah. That's all. Yeah, I'm just saying if there are class with high cost spells, like, yeah. I mean, yeah, it is slow. Imagine it, it is probably slow. Paladin Im- comes to mind, like they run uh, this one, right? Like Nazoth, uh, Murda Paladin, let's yeah. say. I mean, imagine I am uh, I am Jaraxxus. I am I am hell not playing this card. Mm. I don't want the one three <laughs> weapon. I have a freaking yeah, three edge weapon. 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 I just <laughs> I like the value in it. Yeah, That's the effect is there. I'm not but, it's but, but obviously, yeah, it's really slow. I get it. I don't want to throw away my three eight weapon. Is it a three eight weapon? It is a three eight weapon. Right? Uh, uh, three eight, three eight. Three eight, three eight. It is three eight. Okay, so for me it's Prince Marcella. For Abhimanyu it's Bonds. For Sanctuary. Prince Marcella, that card is debatable. For me it has to be the curator then, I guess. <laughs> okay, so that's what <laughs> At least that card is shit, right? You agree? Bones. What are that? Is Moors. Yep. Yeah. Moors. Moors. <laughs> so, so I don't like the Prince that much. I, I, I like it because it's unique for its effect and as we yeah, I, I was telling I was telling uh, Abhimanyu like you could uh, get a new account by uh, one night in Karazhan and uh, even if you don't have legendaries Malchazar gives you legendaries every game so <laughs> enjoy free I think Malchazar is good in Druid like if you run Ram Druid you have like so so many Ram cards you get into fatigue very quickly yeah. So I, I mean, think five yeah, of all the good. games, like fatigue is nev- almost never a deciding factor, right? Yeah, it, it is Very in good. control. Plus, yeah, control versus control, and that and too, how most of them run a win condition. Hey, most of them run a win condition, like Alex Raza into Grom or some random OTK condition or Isera or some other condition. Like they just don't go to fatigue. There are just very few decks who rely on like I'll answer every threat of your opponent without any even condition of mine. Okay. That is like one downside I see of it. But still I'll go with the curator. Okay. Like play it in York Druid or something, ramp it up and draw three cards the ancient of lore. <laughs> okay. Neutral epic. <laughs> Arcan Giants. That's just one choice for you yes. <laughs> Neutral <laughs> Neutral rare, I would say moat lurker because I want to see how to make it, how we can make it work. All of them suck. <laughs> All of them suck, but moat lurker I want to see because it has potential. So we'll see. Neutral common, best neutral common for amongst all of them. Uh, for possibly 
so bot illusion is to see third person illusion yeah. I, for me also illusion is i thought you guys would say through bot but for me i think no. illusion is because it might probably uh, let people do some awesome plays that require you are just waiting for the troll and video full spain <laughs> yeah full spain thank you for reminding me <laughs> what what full spain we can use right with violet illusion is someone will do hero strike wipe out the whole board You can kill Deathwing with Fool's Bane, no problem. Just take forty-eight damage. Yes, yes. You are giving me ideas. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's it with this one. Probably we will do a, a live stream when one of like each of those things comes out. So anyone will anyone will join me among you guys. Sure. Yeah, then just just posted on Facebook or yeah. Like last time, English, English la- last time I think we did LOE, right? We f- we yeah, did yeah, all we did four all of LOE together. Together, but we I didn't post it on in the, on YouTube, I guess. But this time we will do it every week as it releases. So you uh, NA gets hurt earlier than you, I think. Yeah. So NA gets hurt at night and we get hurt at three uh, thirty a.m. Okay. Okay. So we will see. Each other than this. Okay, let's see. Ya. Okay, see ya, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.